Yeah, it's been a while since the last Fear and Hunger stream, right? Uh, two weeks, I think. Let's see if I still remember how this is done. You know, I'm just realizing, uh, in a couple of streams, uh, if we don't accomplish today the challenge run, this is gonna become the longest challenge run on the channel! Like, uh, the other one was uh, Olivia Masomod in a wheelchair, but uh, we almost overcame it! start? Do you think it's a good time? Do you think it is finally time to continue with our pain in this challenge? Well, three, two, one... to a new stream of fear and hunger it's been uh, two weeks uh, i think from the last stream of this game i was actually starting to become a little bit uh, you know detached i was starting to miss uh, these kind of streams <laughs> And to be honest, in these days, I I use the fear and hunger only to record a particular challenge run that uh, it's gonna come out tomorrow. It's still not fully edited, so I'm gonna work even tonight. 
But apart from that, I didn't really touch it, uh, so I'm kind of scared today we're gonna perform very badly. But anyways, first of all, welcome Yonose, uh, Trix, Katetaskun, uh, Boning, Unadukic, Renagoroth, Renagoroth, wait. <laughs> We already have some Garogoroth in the chat, okay. Renagoroth, Silveu, Catherine, Tana, Lil Duck, Kongu Bongo, uh, RB23, Sesati, Sirius Frostalite, Pepsi Soda, Luke Andradis, uh, Mr. Smastan, Gaia La Gratina, Gaia La Gralha, sorry. <laughs> Clayton, Virgoroth, another Garogoroth. <laughs> Caligula, Kogut Sam, Boning, Internet Freak, Sam, uh, Bonso, uh, name that I don't know how to pronounce, I'm sorry. Unwelcome Storm, Lolozos, Strawberry Peels, Girl, Adrun, Horror Story, Lapin Blue Rouge, Sergius uh, 3731, just a random person that is here, Wes, uh, Book, Owo, oh, Magic. Uh, Okay, listen, okay. <laughs> I said enough names. <sighs> so, <laughs> welcome everyone, regardless. Today, we start already in a, in a bad way because my voice already hurts. Let me let me explain. Okay, let me let me explain a little bit because we have a little bit of stuff to tell you. Uh, have a little bit of stuff to tell you. Also because uh, next week there is gonna be a special event unless something bad happens. First of all. My, my, my voice hurts in this moment because yesterday it is the first time I visited a disco, literally. Yesterday was the first time my legs are completely demolished because there was this special event in, uh, uh, in, uh, in my place where basically um, they were having a, a sort of event with a recreation of uh, the 50s and 60s, you know, 1950 music, 1960 music. And they teach us, uh, they, they taught us how to like dance the twist, uh, dance that kind of stuff. And uh, <laughs> to be honest, uh, I have a little bit of uh, Frappolo lore here. I suck at dancing. Like, uh, I, I suck at dancing, okay? And in this moment, uh, my ankles are literally bleeding because uh, I had to wear the, you know, the, sh the particular shoes that you used to dance, uh, and those uh, really damaged my ankles with the movements. Uh, you have no idea. Ah, it hurts even to walk in these days. And Clayton, thank you for the five dollars, buddy! Consume one mother vial. Sure, I have it right here. So good. Thank you so much, Clayton, for the support. And thank you so much even to Whitney Hards for the another five dollars. You have totally got this, bro. Oh wait, Whitney, I think I saw you. I was uh, binging Twitter. You wanted the, the face reveal from me, if I remember correctly. <laughs> thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much, guys, to both of you. So, because you want ancient book. No, 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 no. Listen, let's not start like this, okay? It's been two weeks. I want a chill run. I want to relax. Especially because, as I told you, today I am already destroyed at the start because of my voice. I also had to, like, scream a lot yesterday, so... Ah, you have no idea. Bolle, thank you for the 27 sec, buddy. Will you ever do the two playthroughs at once again? Uh, two playthroughs? Probably no. But three playthroughs. Maybe. Maybe. I will have to see also because uh, I think my brain eventually is gonna collapse by doing this, this kind of stuff. So I also need to need to consider that into the into the into the mix, you know what I mean? But still, thank you so much for the support, buddy. I really appreciate that. And there is another important, I, sh I should say, very important news uh, for you. I don't know if this person already told you, but next week uh, we're gonna have a collab. I don't know if this person already told you, I don't even know if I am allowed to tell you beforehand, but, you know, uh, I basically told them I'm gonna, I'm gonna announce it tomorrow with the stream schedule. So, I think I can say it to you even right now. Are you ready? So... We're gonna have a collab about Fear and Hunger on another channel, okay? We're gonna have a collab on Fear and Hunger on another channel. And I want you guys to guess it. So, the channel name starts with an S. Who do you think is the channel? Come on, give me some names, come on. Give me some names, Italian or English? English, English, absolutely English. I, I still didn't get any Italian content creators uh, interested into, into like, uh, doing the cope, fear and hunger st stuff or something. Sinclair? No. no. Shroud? No. I, don't, I have never heard of Shroud. And there it is, I guess. No, not Sniper Wolf, come on! <laughs> what, what does... <laughs> nah. I guess Bonesos was the first one to guess it. We're gonna have, if nothing bad happens, like if there are no inconveniences, 
a collab with Super Hyper 12 on Fear and Hunger. And I'm not gonna go too much into details, but basically, I I may have prepared something from him for uh, for him. He already knows. I kind of prepared I kind of prepared something for him. But uh, let's say it's gonna be a very a very special run. Okay, it's gonna be a very special run at what hour? Uh, it's gonna be, if I remember correctly, on uh, Thursday at 20 uh, GMT plus one. And I'm gonna announce it in the, in the stream schedule, also because, uh, you know, since I am there, I will not be able to stream the usual Limbus Company. Also because I think very soon Limbus Company is gonna be on a break, because we're almost at the end of the story, but still, yeah. So, we're gonna have this, this little collab. I, I prepared something uh, special. But, uh, but still, I, I will not see anything more. I report my Spanward video, mate. Uh, keep going with the good content. Oh, thank you so much, Emma. Thank you so much, buddy. I really appreciate that. Yeah, I gotta say, the Spanward video is one of the videos I had the most fun in doing it. Like, I wasn't literally able to stop playing. Not, say, not to say that when I did uh, something like the Blind Run of Fear and Hunger, I wasn't able to stop playing. But still, it felt so, like, uh, almost addicting <laughs> playing uh, uh, Palward in that moment. And uh, talking about addiction. Remember during the the binding of Isaac stream, I told you, nah, let's do more, uh, let's do more, uh, more runs because uh, otherwise, uh, after I stop the stream, I'm gonna start playing again the binding of Isaac. Today I played the binding of Isaac two hours, <laughs> two freaking hours. I could have just started a special non-announced stream at that point. <laughs> <laughs> like, I can't stop playing the Binding of Isaac, I have no idea. The King of Fear and Hunger started the stream. Welcome to the Last Bastion. I still remember your stream on uh, Dog Channel. Oh yeah, those were good times, yeah. It was a very nice guy, honestly. Like, uh, both for the, like, uh, the... I gotta say, for being, like, uh, we never told to each other, me and Dog. And uh, being able to talk to him in that precise moment. Uh, and the fact that there was almost this uh, familiarity where uh, it was almost so natural uh, being able to talk to each other. Okay, there was a little bit of embarrassment in the start, but still, uh, I really enjoyed it. Like, uh, you can tell uh, uh, a person is, uh, how do you say it, uh, opened when uh, the first time you meet them, you're actually able to just start talking and discussing like uh, in a very chill way. You know what I mean? Can you befriend the Nosramos this round? Uh, no. <laughs> I don't care about Nosramos. I don't care about Nosramos. Why do we care about Nosramos in this round? Also because uh, if we really want to befriend Nosramos, it means we have to kill the old knight. And I don't know if we want to kill the old knight. Like, yeah, we get access to an empty scroll and the three bookshelves, which may give us more empty scrolls, but that's still one extra, one extra Grogoroth to kill. Because remember, all the enemies of the dungeon are gonna be Grogoroth. Can I just mention Sir Propolo, you're a wonderful person. Oh, thanks, Shieldview. I will really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Dog is a super chill guy. Yeah, and uh, like uh, I didn't know him a lot before uh, before that stream. So like uh, ha having the <coughs> <coughs> sorry <coughs> so sorry. Let me drink a little bit. <sighs> so uh, as I was saying, uh, having the first interaction, uh, like being able to directly speak to them uh, and uh, on stream, of course, like, uh, you know, on stream there is already a little bit of uh, embarrassment, you may say, especially if it's, the, if it's the first time you talk to someone, but it went very smoothly, like, uh, I think uh, he's uh, not only a, a fantastic person, but also very talented, I mean, <laughs> I guess his numbers <laughs> confirms it, was, uh, but, but still. Nosramos meet the Nosramos cutscene glitched my run when I when I had the two empty scrolls. No, ah, uh, yeah, you got stuck into the wall, right? Yeah, 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 that happened to me. Super Patch Wolf is really fun to watch too. Yeah, I actually follow Super Patch Wolf uh, from time to time when I have the time, of course. Like because uh, he tends to stream on a Friday usually, and on Friday I usually have a theater lessons. Because of that, they overlap and I'm not able to really follow. But like, uh, there are some uh, moments in which I just, uh, you know, uh, how do you say it in English? I lurk the stream, like I don't uh, write in chat, but I just uh, just listen to it. You can be an even better gamer if you uh, join the clan of Ragnavaldor enjoyers. Ragnavaldor sucks completely. But still, I think now we can finally start playing. Like, it's been a long time since the last time and I need to remove my rustiness. Remember, I don't know how long we will continue today, because uh, yesterday I literally went to sleep at 4 a.m. So, I, I may need to recover. I did a little bit of a power nap in the, in the afternoon. So, technically we should even perform better than usual. But apart from that, I still want to recover a little bit. And, and, there is a particular video I'm working for, uh, for tomorrow. 
which is a Fear and Hunger challenge run completely recorded off stream. Like, it's a new thing. It's nothing you have seen on the channel up to now. And uh, it came from the desire of completely demolishing all those people that say that RNG is everything. But I'm not, I'm not gonna say anything else. Now, your accent sounds very, uh, like my favorite AV actresses. Help for Polo, what do I do? <laughs> I guess you can just uh, give it to him. Like, uh, I, I, I hope uh, that uh, you like that actress uh, a lot uh, and that you are gonna like me as well. You know what I mean? If you die, it's because you didn't befriend Nos Ramos. No. If I, if I die, it's, it's because either we had very bad luck or because I did some very stupid stuff. That's how we die. So. I guess we can stop the Prehevil Bop music and I can open Fear and Hunger. Oh, there was a new update. To the, to the mod I'm using. Remember, this mod is famous for having had some very serious bugs between the... Hey, can, well, why can't you... I opened Fear and Hunger, why can't you see it? Uh, okay, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pretend nothing happened and I'm gonna add a new window. That, that's very weird. Fear and Hunger should have been already there. Okay, so... There it is. This is your Fear and Hunger, your average Fear and Hunger momento. Now, we're gonna move Fear and Hunger on the right part of the screen, because on the left part I should still have this. There we go! These are the rules! Oh, they, they're overlapping. God damn it. Okay. These are the rules, and I have to move these above. Okay. Very simply. Oh wait, you, you can't hear the game. Oh, what happened? Uh, Fear and Hunger was supposed to be here all the time. Did, did the Streamlabs just said, Now, you know what, I'm gonna remove Fear and Hunger from the program so that you schedule. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna remove everything. Let me add the audio source. And I'm gonna be right back in a second. By the, by the way, um, 73,000 subscribers and I still have to set up middle stream the usual audio and uh, problems. Okay. There we go. Now you should be able to hear the game. Tell me. Is the volume of the game... I mean, okay, for now the... I, I, I'm gonna move. Is the volume of the game uh, good? Do I need to increase it? Do I need to decrease it? Uh, what do you say? Professionalism, exactly. <laughs> What's harder, Fanger or Black Souls? Fanger. Like, uh, Black Souls, you can break it in uh, half a second. Yes, uh, perfect, it's good. Alright. Livestream shows the discontent of uh, losing per evil Bob. <laughs> it happens, it happens. You know, Prehevil Wop is probably my my favorite soundtrack of Fear and Hunger in general, but I still prefer Fear and Hunger 1 music. Like, I feel it, it has a different charm. I'm not saying the one of the second is bad, but the, I like more the one of the first game because it gives a, a more sense of oppression, while in the second game it seems more, um, how do I say it, an action horror movie. Like, in here instead it just, it's, it just seems horror. Uh, that's, okay, that's maybe the, the best description I would give about uh, the soundtrack of these games. Uh, the first one is horror, the second game is action horror, probably. Are you the reincarnation of Pocket Cat? Uh, some people say so, but uh, I never really confirmed or denied it. Uh, also, let me stop the poll, so... 83% people think today we're gonna win! <laughs> I, I am very happy that uh, more than half of the people think this, but... Uh, I'm kinda scared, I'm kinda scared. So, you should be notification these days. What happened, Crying Rain? You, you did not receive the notification for the stream. <laughs> Hello, Rob, so happy that the Grogo Run is back. Welcome, Morty! Now, let me... Did I need to check something else? Uh, no. Okay, this is basically everything important. So, uh, Ragnarvald are sending. All the enemies are Grogoroth. This means, uh, even if an enemy includes two opponents, that's still only one Grogoroth. Doors are Grogoroth. All the enemies are one Grogoroth. Marksmanship is banned, because otherwise, uh, I mean, I could just not play the game. 99 Book of Enlightenment, because uh, in one of the streams in which we did this, uh, because of a bug with Grogoroth, we accidentally lost the whole thing. So we're gonna use this before each Grogoroth battle, just to be sure if the battle bugs, we can restart the battle immediately, okay? Like, I am not allowed to, like, if I die, to reload the save file. But uh, if I lose because of a soft lock, in that case, yes, but only in that case, okay? Only in that, pre in that specific case. So... Uh, what do you think of Final Fantasy XV? In my opinion, uh, Final Fantasy XV is the second worst in the saga. 
Like, maybe the third worst, because, okay, to be fair, there were some cool stuff be between the, the Vegalia and that kind of stuff, but uh, maybe I put it uh, below Final Fantasy, uh, above Final Fantasy 3 and Final Fantasy 13. Uh, but still, uh, nah, not one of my favorites. Uh, absolutely no. Do the Whispers of Gorgoth transfer from one Gorgoth to, to one another? Uh, from what I was able to understand from previous attempts, they don't. They don't. But we still need to be careful because uh, <laughs> being able to prevent Whispers of Gorgoth considering we will not have a lot of purif purifying talismans is gonna be very difficult. Now, you should Mew and become a new god. Mew. Uh, Mew. Okay. <laughs> Do you believe Fear and Hunger is the cruelest game to ever exist? It depends from what you mean. Like, also because uh, my knowledge about video games uh, is not uh, so big. Like, uh, <laughs> I I just play video games in my free time. That that's re really what I what I do. Like, I, I don't consider myself uh, um, a knowledgeable person, but I I do consider one thing, uh, which is that I want to thank Reinhard Rivaldi for becoming a member once again on Pocket Cat when <laughs> once a battle with Pocket Cat gets added to the first game, I guess. Thank you so much for the super buddy. Welcome back to the big shots. Welcome back to the family. So, yeah, I, I don't consider myself a very knowledgeable person about about video games. When I talk about video games uh, and I try to like uh, have some sort of uh, strong uh, criticism, I usually try to back it up with some information. It's like uh, I'm one of those people that tries, uh, tries. This doesn't mean I succeed in it. I try. To only say something is bad, not something, not that I dislike something. I usually try to say that something is bad only when I have some uh, decent motivations for it. So, I don't know if uh, Fear and Hunger would be considered really the cruelest game ever made, but for sure it's one of the cruelest games I ever played, for sure. I got the most proficient run recently and somehow got five empty scores in a coin toss. Wow, fantastic, buddy. Yeah, there is a way to, to do that, uh, like a, 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 a sort of an intentional thing in, in the development process. But there are some moments in which you, can just, uh, you can't just do something to avoid it. So, I guess we can start. Remember. No, actually, I don't remember how to do this run. <laughs> That's gonna be fantastic. The mod should be already, already enabled. There it is, only bosses. This is the new version of the mod pack. Okay? I don't know. Remember in the fir in the previous streams, uh, we had a very annoying bug uh, where when you surpass uh, when you some events, uh, after you do them, like uh, opening a door or something, uh, after you change zone, uh, the door will reclose itself. Okay? The door will literally reclose itself. I hope that with this new version, this was finally fixed, uh, because otherwise I'm gonna lose it. Uh-oh. <laughs> no! Okay, I'm gonna lose it right now! Voracious Blight, what are you doing? Voracious Blight! Thank you for the $50, buddy! I will have to catch the vote later, but best of luck, Frappy. Topple that silly guy. <laughs> Enter in Frappolo stream, donate $50, leave, and I will catch the vote later. <laughs> Thank you so much, Voracious Blight! That's the real giga chat. That's the real big shot. Enter, donate, leave. <laughs> no questions asked. <laughs> Thank you so much for the super Voracious Blight. That really means a lot to me. Okay, I promise Voracious Blight. Today, each Gorgoth that we kill is gonna be dedicated to you, okay? Thank you so much, buddy, for the support. We need to win. Ah, we need to win. <laughs> you know... Every time something like this happens, like, uh, it, it, also because I still did not do literally anything, I'm literally on the title screen. Every time something like this happens, my pressure increases a lot, because I feel like I have to win in this moment. And I feel like if I don't, I will sort of let you down, you know, it's that kind of stuff. So, I'm gonna do my best, I promise. We will do the least amount possible of mistakes, and hopefully we will win. So, thank you so much once again, Voracious Blight. And now... Let's jump into the first run of the day. It's time to give some names for the first Ragnavalder. Remember, the hero of the previous run, of the most successful run we got, was Legaroth. Legaroth was a skeleton which was able to use uh, healing whispers. If we're able to recreate Legaroth later on, it's gonna be perfect. So, Grognant, no. <laughs> we will not call uh, the Ragnavalder Grognant. Babnavalder, Fishnant, Grogulp, Gregnant, Ankelroth, <laughs> because my ankle got destroyed. Grognant, Lodzvalder, 
Frappuccino. Frappuccino. <laughs> Does it even stay, uh, like, uh, stick in here? Frappuccino! No, wait. Uh, I have an idea. No, it doesn't work. Frappuccino. Someone told me that if you, like, uh, mash the button, the button's very fast, uh, you can actually put more, more, uh, more uh, letters, uh, but uh, apparently it doesn't work here. Maybe it's just for the mobile version. Carpaccio, uh, Raffar Gort, Chadenwalder, Gatsaroth, Monkey. <laughs> monkey. The first Ragnavalder is just a monkey. <laughs> Perfect! So! I have to remember how to play this game. First of all, we start with the axe and the shield because bow and arrows are basically useless because we can't use marksmanship, it's banned. Now, devour bloodlust. Devour, devour. Devour for sure. Remember, our record. Oh, wait, actually, our record of Garogaroths should still be present here. There it is! We defeated the three Garogaroths in the best attempt. This was the best attempt we ever got in all these streams, and we defeated three Garogaroths. Okay? That really makes me a little bit anxious. But, uh, you know, I have to prepare in, in uh, preparations for the stream with the Super Eye Patch Wolf. So, baby Kermoler plush when? I was thinking about uh, doing some stuff like plushies, uh, but uh, I think that's gonna be a project from the for the future. Now, also, I was able to realize something incredible. Uh, I mean, not incredible, comical, if I may say so. Our run will heavily rely on RNG in certain moments. And I know you may say, brah, <laughs> brah, but what I mean is... Garogaroth has 6,000 HP, okay? 6,000. I tried to calculate in my head. I if we start the battle and Garogaroth cast, uh, casts Whispers of Garogaroth, think about this. Uh, the countdown starts at 5, okay? The countdown starts... Ooh, Arm Guards, that's good. The countdown starts at 5. This means... Uh, that we have four turns because a before a character dies. Because, like, we do the first turn, that the counter is at four. We do the... Um, how do you say it? No, wait. Uh, four or five turns? Whatever. The, the, the gist of it is we absolutely, to have an increased success chance, have to apply even burn during the battle, not only poison. The, and the problem with this is that uh, the only reliable... The, the most reliable way to apply burn is uh, either combustion or pyromancy trick. And there is no 100% chance this is gonna happen. Which means... Uh, we, first of all, are gonna use the throwing dart because that's just uh, a very a very perfect dot with 100% with chance to apply it. But then we also have to be a little bit lucky just for that part. Which already may make some mistakes considering we have to defeat like 12 Gorgoths in a run to be able to win. Three, three coins right? I mean, no, it was two. It was two. Hey, oh, there, there is the, the flip side. That's why I wasn't able to open the, the coin flip. It was two. Arm guards, leg guards. Oh, it was the three. I, oh, <laughs> perfect. Perfect. Full team, just monkey. My plan, the thing I hope at least, is to find at least one scroll of uh, teaching of Sylvian. Like either loving whispers or healing whispers. I hope to find the uh, healing whispers. Because of the fact that uh, Legaroth was uh, crazy with the Healing Whispers. Uh, which hopefully makes me think, uh, if you're able to set up a full party of Skeletons with the Healing Whispers, uh, which <laughs> of course is a very low chance to happen, uh, but uh, in the challenger that comes out tomorrow, you will see I got a, a very, very big luck in one moment. But still, if that happens, then legitimately I could see us winning the run today. But uh, <laughs> three scrolls for, loving for uh, Healing Whispers is gonna be insane. Absolutely insane. Foxy Mama! Thank you for the $50! <laughs> damn it! I haven't been here in a little while, but uh, hello! Hello, Foxy Mama! Can't say long, but good luck. You're doing a great job. Love, love you lots, Frappy. Your determination will be rewarded. <laughs> I don't think so, but uh, we will see. But here, have this for your journey. Bye bye, sweetie pie. What do you mean? <laughs> Another one! <laughs> Coming to the stream! Donate! Leave! <laughs> <laughs> I guess you're very busy. Like uh, you are becoming uh, like a uh, uh, part of the art council of your uh, of your place. The last time you, we, we talked, so <laughs> I guess you must be busy for now. But God damn. 
<laughs> is this like a new meme uh, way of memeing me doing the stream? Enter, donate a crazy amount of money and just leave uh, and <laughs> don't say anything else. <laughs> donate all ninjas, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Thank you so much for the support, Foxy Mama. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart, really. Thank you so much, Foxy Mama. Oh! Foxy Mama, you're soon gonna, gonna be present and gonna credit you in one particular thing I'm doing. You will see. But still, thank you so much. Now, <laughs> enter, donate, leave. <laughs> so, oh, we got our first piece of dirt. Fantastic. Oh, we already have five. Oh, I, we, we found some dirt that I didn't notice. You see, I'm losing my reflexes. Passing two weeks without playing Fear and Hunger normally, but I mean, normally. Without playing Fear and Hunger in a non challenge runway <laughs> kinda hurted me. So. Ale, blue vial. Can we get an empty scroll early on? I'm gonna be so happy, please. Bolle, thank you for the 27 sec, buddy. Someone gifted me members, so I will give you something. Aw, uh, thank you so much, buddy. I mean, uh, <laughs> it doesn't arrive to them, though it arrives to me, but uh, still, thank you so much for the support, buddy. I really appreciate that. And we got our first purifying talisman. This is important, because we are not gonna be able to get a lot of these in the, in the course of the run. The, mo the, the coins we have are gonna be very limited, and we will mostly need them in order to buy... In order- another arm guards! In order to buy, um... Soul so Hey! Did we... Is there... Uh... Um... Okay! You remember I told you this is a new version of the mod? Uh? I am starting to be kind of scared there is already a bug uh, in this new version. Like, uh, either this is a bug uh, or we are being the luckiest person on earth. Uh, like, okay, this, the stuff we got is not in incredible. Like, I would have preferred to hit all these coin flips on the bookshelves, but still. Uh, mm, uh, okay, you know what? Before, uh, before saying anything else, uh, let's go to the bookshelves uh, because I want to see if in there we're able to succeed with all the coin flips, okay? I... <laughs> Maybe this is a bug. This room is getting me a uh, uh, grogo thing. <laughs> I don't know. We got surprisingly too many coin flips in a row. Uh, do we have a small key, by the way? So I can maybe open this door already and let's see if there is another coin flip. No, we don't have a small key. So we can't open the door. There is not the guard spawn, which is good. The three silver coins. That's per even perfect. Monkey shall become the monkey king of ultra banana. <laughs> do we have the elite guard in here? We don't. No. So it's, uh, it's in the torture chamber. Okay. I'm starting to be scared uh, because you know th this mod is uh, notorious for being bugged as hell. In the in the literal first stream of this run, we weren't able to open the menu, but because uh, like a, like a, if we open the menu, it would have reset everything, doors, etc. So I'm kind of scared that this is another bug where I don't know maybe the variable of the coin flip is just just not being changed. Here there is a book, um, a pile a pile of books, for example, and we found a small key. Let me see. Do we get the heads even here? Because if that's the case, I really should get worried. Hmm. Uh, okay. Uh. Can, can we can we fail a coin a coin flip, please? Uh, I am starting to be a little bit uh, scared that the, the <laughs> that this is bugged. Uh. Can we fail a coin flip? <laughs> Do we need to open the the old version? <laughs> Like, uh, how many, uh, counter, how many coin flips did we get correctly in a row? Was it like, uh, six, uh, seven? Okay, because, uh, seven in a row should be like, uh, zero point percent. Uh, test it with an ancient book. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> if we find an ancient book, I'm gonna use it, okay? If we find, uh oh, if we find an ancient book, in the, before we get, we fail a coin flip, I am gonna use it. I promise, okay? If we, but only in that specific case. So, uh, I'm not gonna use the lucky coin. Let's see if we get it correct. Okay, okay. <laughs> Perfect. So we were just that lucky. <laughs> but at least we failed a coin flip, so I don't need to use the ancient book anymore. <laughs> no. What do you want, you idiot? <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> I guess the game is not bugged. Yeah, for now it seems it was just luck. Let's see if we can get an empty scroll. Empty scroll! And that... <laughs> and now we're gonna fail all the coin flips. <laughs> Book of Fears. Yeah, let's fail even this one. Why not? 
Let's fail even this one. Perfect. <laughs> I hate this game. <laughs> really, the person that made this game is, is a masochist. <laughs> Let's fall down. Are we gonna miss even this coin flip right here? Oh, we missed even this. <laughs> okay, may maybe... <laughs> okay, we got a throw in there at least. You know, not getting any empty scrolls is also gonna be a problem. So I really hope this bad streak ends very soon. We have... One explosive vial, I think. We have one... I saw an explosive vial. Oh, there it is, yeah. One, but uh, I don't think I'm gonna use it here. I think I'm gonna preserve it. Like, there is just a random chest we can get from here. What is the best thing we can get from a chest? I don't know, maybe a soul stone or something. But even then, even if we get a soul stone, we still need to go down the, down the, the floors in order to use it. So for now, let's just not care about it. Now, this is how someone loses all his winning in a casino. <laughs> That's true! You just get addicted to it and then just uh, decide, you know what? I'm gonna keep winning, let's just continue. Oh wait, uh, I am infected. Uh, I am infected, uh, yeah, I do have a green herb though I found it earlier. There we go. There we go. <laughs> I was very scared, it was just being a little bit too lucky for my tastes. Uh, and uh, you know, since it's what is sometimes bugged, I was just thinking, ah, we discovered a new bug even without wanting to. Bayato, thank you for the fiver on, buddy. Thank you for the support. Uh, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. So, remember, we cannot defeat Terror Tour because Terror Tour in this one. No, the Elite Guard is in the worst position ever. Terror, terror Tour is uh, a Garoth. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, let me take the skinny knife since we are here. Uh, what are you doing, Elite Guard? Yeah, no, 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 no. God damn it. Okay, the Elite Guard is in there. Now, it's gonna go back to its usual spot. The, the best thing I can do is, is make the Elite Guard stuck on, like, the... No! Not in there! Mm. Okay, listen, I have another idea. I have another idea. No! <laughs> and this is the end for the monk. I mean, okay. We have still a 50-50% chance to escape by running away. Okay, we still have a 50-50% to run away. <gasps> and that's why, and that's why, we have to maintain the nerves of steel. Perfect. So, the purifying talisman is gonna be used to open the door to, to the hex and for sure later. Uh, is there a chest down here? Also, we can use this door to see, okay. If I, uh, in the previous stream, sir, if I exit from a room, some doors will be reclosed. It's time to test it. Is the door reclosed? <gasps> it's not reclosed! The developer of the mod finally fixed this problem! Ah, oh, perfect! We don't have to do some freaking planetarium roads in order to go from one door to the other. Finally! After, uh, what is this, the f uh, the fifth stream we do of uh, Ragnavaldor sending a Grogoth only? After five stream, finally, the developer was able to fix this problem. <laughs> finally. Just in time for our victory. So, oh, there is a guard in here. But I guess there is also the library, so whatever. Hello? Now, can we get an empty scroll? We failed on the coin flip in the other floor. Okay. What do we get? Hmm. 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 No. No. This run seems lucky. I will not give up on this run, okay? And <laughs> Let's use the ancient book. I don't care. Ancient book, no. Heads. Come on. Give me something good. <laughs> okay, stream is over, guys. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Stream is over. Goodbye, guys. Goodbye. Um, hello, can you hear me? Uh, yeah. So, uh, Frapolo94 told me he's kinda angry, so he will not continue with the stream. So, welcome everyone, I'm Frapolo95, welcome! So, 
uh, I guess uh, I'm gonna be the the new host of this stream at this point uh, because uh, Frappolo is not really feeling it. Uh, he also was kind of tired, so he's gonna go to sleep and I'm gonna continue. Are you ready? So from what I was able to understand from the stream, you usually have this gag uh, in which uh, he asks you to like name the character. What is this, by the way? Uh, a Viking? Uh, it reminds me a lot of like, uh, you know, those boy bands uh, that uh, were very, uh, very cool in like the 80s or something. Hmm. Do you and Propolo 94 sleep in the same bed? For sure. He's my buddy. Uh, Top G, Ragnar Dutter, uh, Propolo 95, <laughs> Lolo Valder, Grognant, Ragnar Dutter. What, what does Dutter mean exactly? Monkavalder. <laughs> Monkavalder! <laughs> really? It fits! Perfect. Okay. So he told me I have to play hard mode apparently, because in hard mode it's the only pro it's the only moment in which you can reach Ragnavaldar as ending. I don't think it's gonna be difficult. Like I've never played this game, but uh, I don't know. For Polo makes it seem very easy, so it should be doable. Like uh, I watched a lot of his guides. Uh, uh, sometimes I just get kinda disoriented by his accent, and uh, by the way that sometimes he says fear and hunger instead of fear and hunger. And uh, so I wrote a, a comment to him saying that uh, he should change the pronunciation or maybe hire a vocal coach because uh, he sucks at English. You know what I mean? All right. Now, uh, uh, yes. Yeah. Oh, uh, guys, uh, uh, I have to leave because uh, Frappolo94 is back from uh, his little nap and he's going to proceed. So goodbye, guys. Nice to have you. Uh. All right, I'm back. So, as I was saying, I will never use an ancient book again, okay? Never, okay? If, if we ever find an ancient book and someone in the chat that tries to tell me to use the ancient book, I am seriously gonna, gonna time you out from the chat. You deserve it, completely. Time out, immediate. If you say to use the ancient book once we find it, okay? Bring back Frappolo 95. No, Frappolo 95 was even, wasn't even supposed to come here, actually. Like, uh, I just said, you know what? Since I want to relax a little bit, uh, let's ju just send it here with Frappolo 95. I don't care. <laughs> Bayato, thank you for another fiver on, buddy. Thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate that. And uh, <laughs> we start to fail the coin flips. There it is. What happened to the other 93 Frappolos? We, we, we don't talk about uh, what happened with the other 93 Frappolos. We don't. Absolutely no. <laughs> All right. I mean, at least now the run is, <laughs> is looking very promising. If we fail the coin flips on the armors, technically, because, you know, lucky, la luck spins. You know, luck literally spins. So, failing the coin flips on the armors should give us better luck with the coin flips on the bookshelves, you know. At least that's what I mean, that's what I think. <laughs> Maybe I'm just wrong. But, oh, by the way, today I was playing a lot of The Binding of Isaac, as I told you. And uh, I actually, actually unlocked uh, a new mode, it was called, uh, like, Greedier mode, uh, which, uh, if I remember correctly, it's the one that a lot of people are pissed off about. Uh, so, like, uh, I can't wait to be able to play with you uh, the Greedier mode on Monday, because uh, if it's apparently so difficult or so annoying or so frustrating, uh, I really want to try to... <gasps> arm guards! Uh, plate mail. Please, uh, arm guards! Uh, how do you skip dialogue so fast? Uh, you have to hold the W. Uh, like, uh, I I'm gonna show you in a second. I'm just gonna hold you in a sec uh, show you in a second. So, in the control menu, uh, W and Q are page up and page down. Page up and page down allow you to scroll the text so fast. Very simply. It's very funny because uh, a lot of people don't know about this, uh, but uh, that, that kind of concerns me. Like, uh, the problem is... Uh, did the, the people that don't know about this uh, not even look at the control menu? Like, okay, maybe you just see page up and page down and don't think uh, that uh, maybe it's supposed to do that, uh, which is uh, absolutely fair. But still, uh, did these people even enter into the control menu <laughs> at all? Like, uh-oh, oh, me! Like, not that it, it's, a, it's a problem if you, if you don't, but like... Uh, because I think a lot of problem with the uh, stuff in Fear and Hunger is that uh, sometimes you just uh, forget to check under your nose. Uh, because, for example, here, uh, it, mentions that, it mentions that you can use the T to light up a torch. Uh, and uh, a lot of times, uh, some people even told me, like, uh, how do you light up a torch? And I feel kind of... No, the, okay, the red card in here is better, actually. I feel kind of happy that I'm able to teach them something so... quality of life, because this game doesn't have a lot of quality of life features. Uh, so it's better to to gain them, uh, make the most out of those other present. You know what I mean? And the elite guard. No, 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 no,
legal goal. It's exactly in front of the door. Mm-hmm. Where are we going? Uh, okay, finally. Please, can we have an empty scroll as the first book to loot from the table? Please! Come on! Empty scroll! Empty scroll! Yes, sir! Alchemilla Volume 2! Okay, this was not bad if I remember correctly because it gives us the purple vials in case we get a lot of red vials. And the purple vials are good because they are a guarantee- No! Oops! <laughs> I used a tinderbox. The purple vials are good because they- No! Ah! Oh, God damn it. They are a guaranteed way which bypasses accuracy to put poison on uh, Gerogoroth. I'm just gonna explain that a bit more in case you don't remember. Uh, while throwing dart is a physical attack, and so it also checks your accuracy and the enemy evasion. The purple vial is a certain hit, so it can- and uh, with 100% with accuracy. So it cannot miss. Uh, can you give us uh, life advice? What's better, heads or tails? I can give you the advice of uh, before throw the coin, afterwards pick a side. So you are always gonna be assured to hit the correct one. You can be assured in this way I was able to handle the majority of my life stuff. Of my personal life stuff, stuff at least. Also, uh, I want to tell you, I am still not out of my exam period. Like, uh, I am supposed to have another exam very soon. So I don't know if uh, even next week, in case we don't win today, of course, uh, in case we don't win today, we're gonna be able to redo another uh, uh, challenge or stream. But we already have the little collab with Super Apache Wolf. So I really thought it's gonna be good, but still, empty scroll! Empty scroll! Empty scroll! Empty scroll! Yes! Uh, do we have a quill? Do, do we have a quill? Uh, quill! Perfect! White Angel Soul, immediately. White Angel Soul. Not gonna deal with this bull crap. Okay. Oh Lord! Boom! Uh-huh. Give! Perfect! Why? White... Angel. Perfect! Now we cannot die anymore until the late game. <laughs> now we cannot die anymore until late game. Which means that we can slowly grind our way towards the Gorgoths. Another empty scroll! Empty scroll! <laughs> yes! Yes! God damn it! <laughs> This is the run. This is for real the run. We still have a lot of bookshelves on this floor. Like, there are two bookshelves in here, of which I think one is a coin flip and the other one is not. Uh, that guard scares me. I do have one bird trap, but I wanted to keep this for the night lurch in the level 7 basement. No, you know what? I'm gonna find another bird trap by the time. Yeah, I'm gonna find another bird trap by the time. All right, you idiot. Mmm. <laughs> I could just escape from the battle, but I don't want to lose mind for now. I don't want to lose mind. And empty scroll! Empty scroll! Empty scroll! Empty the passages! Okay! The passages is not bad. The passages is definitely not bad. It means we have access to the cursed blue scene. No, wait, no, we don't. We, 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 let me explain to you why. I am remembering right now. We don't have... A, we have access just to the blue scene, not to the cursed blue scene, because... The Cursed Blue Scene requires four lesser souls. And not only we have a limited amount of soul stones, but also... But also... The amount of corpses we will be able to use uh, uh, soul stones on is very limited, because all the enemies are Grogoroth. I'm not gonna kill four random enemies in order to get a, a weapon. Like, <laughs> I just prefer to kill the actual uh, Grogoroths of the run, you know what I mean? Okay, the Guardian here did not spawn. And... Are you ready? Empty scroll! Empty scroll! Embed! Okay. Empty scroll! Empty scroll! Em <laughs> it's over. My, my luck was all consumed in that floor. <laughs> it's over. All the other coin flips on the bookshelves are gonna be are gonna be wrong. We already have a, a high amount of coins, 38. Which is almost enough to buy something like a um, Sorcerer Stone or something, maybe, in case we need it. Uh, I don't think we will, but still. Game realized you were a little too happy. <laughs> I, I always uh, like to imagine, like, uh, that there is really someone behind the scenes that is like, uh, huh, no, this person is enjoying it too much. Like, uh, in, this, in these days, uh, I am watching a lot of videos from a channel called uh, Low Budget Stories, uh, which basically does a lot of uh, uh, stories with the uh, Soyjak characters. Uh, uh, do we have a small key? We have a three small keys. Yeah, we, I guess we can enter in here. And uh, uh, in those stories, uh, sometimes there is this uh, this uh, 
Um, uh oh. No, 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 no. I mean, no, okay. We have the white angel sword regardless. Perfect. <laughs> There are a lot of these stories where uh, the morale is that uh, when you start having fun and enjoy your work, uh, there is going to be someone that messes you up. Like, it, it can be a Karen, it can be someone else. There is always going to be someone that messes you up. Now, we have the mocha book. We have the explosive vial. Do we go through the thicket? Or do we go through the mines? I think through the, through the thicket. Uh, no, through the mines. Yeah, through the mines. We also have to gather a soul stone, potentially. So, yeah. Mines it is. How is the tour? I mean, Mazo, I mean, a run going. <laughs> the run is going pretty well. We started already with the three empty scrolls uh, on the first floor uh, bookshelves. And we still could have could have access to a bookshelf on the... Uh, I think at the level 1D, there is still that that, that part. There is a, um, a wall you can destroy with the, the explosive vial. Where you get another bookshelf, another bookshelf which gives you um, a coin flip book, of course, I mean. And potentially we could get something good even from there, potentially. Let's pray to Sylvian before I forget uh, later on. Does two and three enemies spawn more Grogoths? No. All enemies are one Grogoth. And Matthias Biancera, thank you for becoming a member once again, buddy! <laughs> Why are you making the Italian gesture with the Caro Molar? Do you want uh, Italian Caro Molar in the future? <laughs> Thank you for the super buddy. And thank you even to Tramps for gifting one membership to the chat. Thank you so much for the support buddy. And welcome back to the big shots to Internet Freak. Thank you so much, Tramps. I really appreciate your support. All right. Now, oh, another bone so. Three bone souls already. Let's make a bone so count or something. Oh, this is the confirmation where ah, uh, where the Salmo snake is behind that door. Whatever, whatever. This is also the confirmation we, uh, I, I'm gonna use a lot in the challenge run that comes out tomorrow on the channel. Hmm. Hmm. You will see. Blue Sin. We could take the Blue Sin now, but first of all I want to set up the Cave Dweller Village business. Like, I want to take the rope, I want to take the uh, guaranteed lesser soul we can get from there. That kind of stuff. Here there should be the Ritual Circle. We did not pray in the first level. Okay, guys, remind me in case I forget, okay? Remind me in case I forget. Pray to Olmir. We already prayed to Olmir in the mines. We already played, prayed to Olmir in the mines, okay? Please remind me. Don't guess like me because otherwise I am gonna destroy you, okay? I am genuinely gonna destroy you, okay? Uh, with love, of course. But still destroy you. You know, you know, like those toxic relationships where you, you have to exit from it, but you're not able to? I am gonna be the toxic relationship you have with yourself, okay? Lucine is better than Easter Sword. In my opinion... Okay. I, there are a lot of people that uh, ask me this, uh, this question. Let me explain. Cursed Blue Sin and Purified Eastern Sword. My take is that dots are broken as hell, yes. But. Not only it's not 100% chance for a dot, but the damage of the, cur of the Purified Eastern Sword, it's the raw damage of the Purified Eastern Sword, is much more. And a lot of bosses, and in a lot of enemies in general, don't have high amount of HP. A lot of them. So what I say is, dots are broken, but they are really necessary only in very specific cases. You know what I mean? They are very good, but not, necess not necessary. And that's why I prefer the Purified Eastern Sword. Because you will need much more uh, uh, raw damage rather than dots. Because sometimes you can win the fight uh, like in one turn or something, you know what I mean? Maybe you could pin a message that uh, say you parade to all me in the mines. Uh, I could, but it's funnier if you don't guess light me. Because uh, I want to see if I can trust my chat. I want to see if all the... We got a moldy bread, which means we have infinite food. Uh, whatever, I mean, uh, we, we're not gonna use it, but... Uh, <laughs> because there is just uh, so much food in the dungeon. Another bird trap, which I wanted because uh, the Night Lurch is gonna be a nightmare otherwise in the level 7 basement. Then, what is the point of Passages of Mahabre? To take the blue scene. That's the whole point of it. And also in general... Oh, there is another important part of uh, the Passages of Mahabre. In this run, the chest that gives you the ever-watching talisman is one of the most important things ever. Now, let's take our guaranteed lesser soul. It's one of the most important things ever because it nullifies the fear of Garogaroth. Okay? Lesser soul, there it is. Our first lesser soul, which is also gonna be the lesser soul we use to get um, Dot Portal. What do you sell, just to know? Explosive vial, blue vial, uh, um, nah. We already have uh, the enough explosive vials for the rest of the run. Three explosive vials, yeah, that's definitely enough. 
Perfect. Also, we could we could get uh, like more explosive items as we go. Now, also, I hope my voice doesn't sound too weird because, as I told you, my my throat hurts. <gasps> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Maybe it's gonna be irrelevant, but maybe for a skeleton or something. As I was saying, I hope my voice doesn't sound too bad. Because my throat hurts because yesterday I screamed a lot. Do we have a, a small key? We have two small keys. Yeah, we can do it. Boom. Please. Empty scroll. Eh, no. <laughs> I mean, we could still get an empty scroll, but uh, it's uh, not probable. Absolutely not. Up here, there is also a base. Two bases we can take. Row meat and silver coins. We have... We have... Uh, 66. Yeah. We need to go to Mahabra as fast as possible. Every Italian I know uh, has a cold or throat ache or of some kind. <laughs> Actually, it's funny because uh, whenever I do uh, theater lessons, uh, there is someone with uh, throat problems, like they cannot scream, they cannot talk, uh, or uh, they they need to to rest a little bit because uh, they they are very weak. Uh, you know, there is always something new in my theater group. <laughs> there is not a single lesson in which everyone is 100% alive and kicking. Oh, Kromoner arrived. Oh, how cute. Boom. Now, your voice sounds sexy. Oh, thanks. <laughs> which probably sounds... Uh, it's probably weird of me. No, it's not we weird. I appreciate it, actually. I appreciate it, of course. Uh, Kenny North, uh, thank you for the two BRL, buddy. Balls. Uh, do you want the Grogo balls? Uh, we're gonna find them soon. No worries, buddy. <laughs> thank you for the support. Uh, now, let's join the Wolf Masks. Uh, I think we still did not uh, eat anything up to now. So now we are completely refilled. Easy. Now, here in the mines there is another important thing we have to do with the last small key we have. Which is... Uh, we have only one small key, right? Do we have a red vial? Because if we don't have a red vial, I will have to resort to use one uh, empty scroll to get a red vial, which is gonna be very sad. Because we need to perform the Kromoner skip. Donogroth! Donogroth! <laughs> Thank you for the 10 pounds, buddy! If you plant small seeds in this mod, will they grow growth? <laughs> will they... How long did you think about that joke? How long did you think about... Will they grow growth? God damn it. I hate you. I hate you so much. But thank you for the support. They, they grow growth. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, okay, the Ballista Guard did not spawn, and here we have a 50% chance for a Soul Stone, come on! Soul Stone! Soul Stone! No, yeah, no Soul Stone. But five Tinder Boxes, that's still not terrible. This basically means we get more torches. Will this basically be the least amount of fights with, uh, without using empty scrolls? Uh, yeah! We have to defeat like 12 Grogoroths. Uh, 11 maybe, I don't remember exactly, but still, yeah! That's basically the challenge! <laughs> or... We could take some more advantage by, like, defeating the, the Old Knight, for example, because that gives us access to another empty scroll and to three more bookshelves, you know what I mean? Now the question is, do we take the... the... the blue scene immediately or no? Do we take the blue scene immediately or no? I think we do. I think we will not explore this part of the dungeon a lot more. There is really nothing else we need to keep here, so yeah, boom. One. Uh, we have the passages, right? Yes, there it is. Uh-huh. Boom. Now. The Passages of Mahabre. There we go. So, I never even played Fear and Hunger, but I still love your content. Oh, thanks, Bone. I really appreciate that. All right. These are the stupid idiots we're gonna take down today. I promise. What would the Kromoler be in Italian? I'm wondering if it would sound funny. I don't know the exact trans translation of Moler. I think it's like Mazza. So, it's like the... Il, il Corvo Mazziere? <laughs> I don't know exactly how to translate it. Alright! This is important! Please hit ahead! Because we need the Everwatching Talisman! Yes! Everwatching Talisman is ours! The Everwatching Talisman, we didn't get it in the run with, uh, in which we defeated the maximum amount of possible of Krogorov for now. But it's just so good. It basically nullifies the, the, the curse. The, the, not sorry, the curse. The phobia. Therefore, allowing you to basically take 50% less damage from all, from all the Clover Gods you get. Il Corvo Mazzatore. Oh, Mazzatore, yeah. Mazzatore, perfect. <laughs> I said Mazziere, but it's Mazzatore. Corvo Mazzatore would be a direct translation in Italian. <laughs> Alright. Up here, we have another chance to get uh, red vials, please. Blue, blue herb. Yeah, bird shop. Come on. Red vial, there it is. Perfect. <laughs> 
Okay, we also got our Ring of Verates. Ho oh, ho! Oh. Maybe this is the run for real. We started with a good amount of empty scrolls, and we are getting a lot of silver coins, red vials. Hey, why are you not clicking? I am clicking the button. Okay, another bird trap. Come on, can we take these two as well? Explosive vial, quill, and that's it. We 100%ed the passages of Mahaber Zone. Now, here we can also take the Jingasa Kabut. Kabut. Ah, uh, Gabut. Jingasa Kabuto? Yeah, was it Kabuto? Jingasa Kabuto, I think. This is obscure, but has anyone made a mod to disable the coin flip noise? I really hate it. The coin flip noise? It, it doesn't seem difficult at all to make that kind of mod, but uh, no, I don't think uh, anyone made it. Like, you just need to go into the game files uh, and, uh, like, uh, replace the coin flip uh, sound with, uh, uh, like, uh, turn the volume down to zero, and it's gonna be fine. Like, you, you automatically remove it. You can do it yourself, I think. Like, uh, if you open the game files... Uh, and you go into the sound effect zones, you can actually find the one related to the coin flip, and you can put it to zero volume. I think you can do that. Like, uh, you would maybe need to check a guide in case you are not uh, so experienced with RPG Maker NB. But yeah, it's very possible. Oh, about RPGs, by the way. In these days, uh, you know, uh, I don't know if uh, you played the Final Fantasy, but my brother in this moment is playing a Final Fantasy V. Do we need to destroy the organ? No, we don't. Uh, this organ is useless. Uh, my brother in these days is playing a Final Fantasy uh, V for the first time ever. And it's like one of my favorite Final Fantasies uh, of all times. Uh, so I really love being able to like uh, binge watch him playing Final Fantasy V uh, as a, as a, like a, I do something like editing. And I was wondering, uh, have you ever played the Final Fantasy? Because I feel like uh, the... I don't know. Okay, maybe... Uh, I think the majority of people that watches my channel is uh, mainly currently in their 20s or in their 30s. So I, I, I have to guess you grew up with Final Fantasies. But is there someone uh, uh, ar around you that uh, never even touched a Final Fantasy or something? Like, uh, because uh, I think I think like my, my whole existence without Final Fantasy would have been much different. It was just so charming being able to play it when I was a, a, a child. I think it really formed me in a sense. Julia F, thank you so much for becoming a member once again. Never played Final Fantasy. There it is. There it is. <laughs> Never played Final Fantasy. But you played Elden Ring, Dark Souls, Bloodborne, all that stuff. <laughs> Thank you so much for the support, Julie. I really appreciate that. Never played it. I haven't played it. Wow! <laughs> There are a lot of more people that are saying that they never played the Final Fantasy in here that I thought. Okay, guys. Listen. Listen. If you love yourself, what you have to do now is... Buy on Steam Final Fantasy VI Pixel Remaster and play it. Final Fantasy VI Pixel Remaster. It's like a... Uh, $17, I think, for now. I'm just saying that because it's the most, uh, the, mo the, the, the easiest obtainable uh, version. So, like, uh, buy it and play it immediately, okay? Final Fantasy sponsor. No, it's not a sponsor. <laughs> it's just that I love Final Fantasy and <laughs> I want you guys to be able to experience it as well because uh, Final Fantasy VI, uh, in my opinion, is the best introduction to the series. Because, uh, you, or, I mean, okay, you could, of course, just go with the new ones with uh, better graphics, better graphics, uh, yeah, let's go! But I really think Final Fantasy VI is the best one for that case. Most hated place in Termina? Everything. No, seriously speaking, I think uh, the sewers, I don't really like the. They just seem some mindless corridors with uh, not charm. I don't know how to explain it exactly. Like, uh, the, basically, the, 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 the bunker is what the sewers tried to be. But unsuccessful, in my opinion. You know what I mean? The bunker is the sewers good. The sewers are terrible, in my opinion. So, in the current moment... In the current moment, we already have our lesser soul. I guess we go back on the first level. We... Uh, oh, we are on the first level. <laughs> we are on the first level. What we do is... We get max affinity with the uh, Olmir. We are already prayed to Olmir in the mines. Uh, I will not forget about it. I will not forget about it, no matter what. The the leaf section is a torture. The leaf. Uh, in, 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 are you talking about the sewers? The, the leaf section. Whatever. So, you know what's the real problem? The the sole fact that this run is going so well makes me even more tense. Because, uh, you know, when the run is already going bad, uh, you are like, oh, whatever, this was already a failed run. But if the run is... Uh, <gasps> <ooh. sighs> As I was saying, if the run is going, <laughs> if the run is going well, uh, 
you feel very bad if you make some mistakes, you know what I mean? Uh, you start to feel very bad, or if the situation goes very bad in a second. <laughs> it's so funny. I think at this point I have like uh, 1300 hours into this stupid game, and the crow molar still is able to catch me off guard. There we go. All mirror max affinity. Now, Kamala is literally FBI. <laughs> I didn't do anything, I promise. Those images you found you found on my PC are not for me. They were um they were uh, my brother. Yeah, my brother, definitely. My 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 brother put them on my PC, I promise. I promise. Uh, put 50 50 dollars bounty for you to use ancient scroll when you get one. No. 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 No 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 it doesn't work like that. Even if a person donates, uh, I don't... Like, I, I don't use the ancient book. Even if a person donates. Because, uh, you know, okay. I, I, I use it sometimes just for the meme. You, like, you don't even need to donate. That's the point. Sometimes I just do it for the meme. And we were able to not fall down. We could fall down. Go no! Mm, okay. We have the white angel soul. We have the white angel soul. That's not a problem. That's not a problem. No worries, no worries, we made an oopsie doopsie, but uh, it's sustainable, because uh, our luck with the empty scrolls was able to save us from these horrible situations. Now, if we go back on the first floor, there are two things I need to do which I forgot about. First of all, uh, uh, hello you idiot, do we have enough silver coins? We do have enough silver coins to buy for the scroll of, of transmutation for later, maybe. Julia, thank you so much for the 10 donation of memberships! God damn. <laughs> Welcome back, I guess! <laughs> How are your studies going, by the way? <laughs> like, uh, are you able to f uh, were you able to pass the exams? Uh, welcome to the, all the new members: uh, Toho, Squidward, uh, Johanna, Hank, Jordi, the RPG Spell, uh, uh, Cosmo, Fishman, Dapper Capper, Biggie Cheese. Uh, thank you so much for the support, Julie. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. All right. Uh, while the big shots go, I'm gonna take the big shots power that we have right now, and we're gonna go to the last bookshelf of this floor, hoping that we're actually able to get another empty scroll. Are you ready? Come on, while the big shots go, while the big shots go. Is it our time to become a big shot now? Is it our time? Alchemilla, the scroll of Church of Sea. Ooh, okay. This is not uh, Healing Whispers, uh, but it's still good. And Alchemilla volume three. Yes. You know, when do you start fighting things? <laughs> In one hour, I think. <laughs> In one hour. You know what's funny? No, let me talk about this, uh, because I find this ridiculous, okay? I find this ridiculous. In uh, an old VOD of the challenge runs, uh, someone in the comments uh, was like, uh, what What the f What the hell is this run? Like, uh, is this guy an idiot? Like, uh, you just go around uh, for three hours in the dungeon and you don't even fight anything? Uh, like, uh, uh, terrible. And I was like, uh, bro, do you expect me to, like, fight Garogarov at the start of the run? Uh, like... Do you expect me to fight Garoga for this stuff? Yeah, nah, nah, nah. Let's not, let's not prepare ourselves. Nah, nah, nah. Why am I even just trying to mean maxing anything? Like, let's just fight Garoga until we are lucky and Garoga misses like 50 times in a row. Like, who cares? Like, <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Were you expecting me to just uh, pull a trick out of my sleeve where I'm able to one shot the Garoga or something? This is not that kind of game. <laughs> I wonder if there is any for Apollo Rule 34. There was one. Someone made it. Uh, someone made uh, a, ger a, a gender bent image of myself. Uh, <laughs> Rule 34. <laughs> I don't know if I should mention this, but uh, I already did it. Benny, thank you for the five donation of memberships. Uh, thank you so much for the support, Benny. Welcome to Darek, JP, Anastasia, Mangaruban, and Aiden. Thank you so much for the support, Benny. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Ah. Perfect, please uh, retroactively censor everything you just said. Uh, why? <laughs> okay. Do we need the map from Isaiah? Like, transmutation. Okay, walk on water, maybe it's good for combustion. Transmutation could also be considerable good. Maybe not now, maybe for now it's better if I keep the money. First, let's unlock the blood portals. Maybe later we, c we think about it, okay? Why is marksmanship banned? Uh, very simple, Johanna. Because uh, uh, marksmanship is basically nullifying the whole purpose of the run, which is that we can't fight enemies because they are Garogaroths. If I just marksmanship everything, the channel is easy. Completely easy. We did not get a purifying talisman, though. 
We did not get a purifying talisman, so we need to go to Mahabra to get a purifying talisman. Otherwise, we cannot enter. We cannot enter into the into the hexen. Oh well, a little trip to Mahabra it is. A little trip to, Mata to Mahabra it is. No. <laughs> Hello, Torturoth. <laughs> Whatever. We can escape. We can escape. No Isaac spoilers. Uh, please pin it. No. <laughs> no. All right, you know what's the problem? I don't even need to preserve my mind. Like, we are gonna get um, uh, phobia uh, necessarily in the battles against the Gerokaroth. And uh, if we keep the Everwatching Talisman, we don't get them regardless. Like, there is no real, not really a purpose into, into, you know, maintaining my sanity. Okay, we do have the cube. Yeah, we can go. Everything is ready. No, there is the Lizardman. We have to hurry up. The Lizardman could be kind of annoying later on when we have more skeletons and goals. When we pass through there. Let's hope it goes. Uh, it, it stays there for now. So. Ildathet, thank you for the 10 euros, buddy. I love when your voices, voices switch between uh, Chad Polo and Deeper Chad Polo. You mean this Deeper Chad Polo, for example? <laughs> thank you so much for the support, buddy. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. All right. Here we are. We do have... Uh, we do have a bird trap for the night lurch that lurks in here. So I guess there is no reason to not place it here. There we go. Boom. And now we don't even care anymore. We could also use one on the guard that is in this corridor. Yeah, we're gonna pass it through here another time later to go back. So I guess boom. Aha! Bird trap, you stupid idiot. And we also interact with the Legard, so already the half of the run is done. Remember, there are only two requirements, two requirements to access the S ending. Check Legard and then defeat all the bosses and get all the souls. But technically speaking, we already did 50% of the job. You know what I'm saying? So, we have one Red Vial and zero small keys, I think, yeah. I think we have zero small keys. So unfortunately... Unfortunately we have to go all the way around, also triggering some blood... Uh, some... Uh, uh, bloody goals. Uh, like, how are they called? Uh, come on. What is the name I forgot? Uh, bloody man. Bloody man. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we need to do it. There is not much else we can do. Not much else we can do. Let's go. So from here, I'm I'm really only scared. Like we cannot uh, uh, we cannot uh, not escape from a battle because we have the White Angel Soul. But if we get stuck between two opponents, that's the moment in which I'm gonna cry. Because if you get stuck between two opponents, you are dead. It doesn't matter what you do. You are stuck because uh, in the moment in which you escape from an opponent, the other one already re-aggroed you, if that's the cor- I don't know, I don't even know if that's a word. Re-aggroing. You know what I mean? Like, uh, they re-interact re with you to start another battle. So because of that, it's it's, it's gonna be Jover. But uh, in the current moment, I think we're fine. Yeah, we're fine. Red Vial. And let's go to the past because there is a lot of stuff we need to do. Boom, boom. Half of the run is done, so it's like the, there is uh, only two questions in the exam, with the second question is multiple parts. <laughs> Basically, yeah, like, uh, you know, that that's exactly what it is. We, we completed one part of the test, which... Uh, Unconsciously, it's kind of good for yourself, like, uh, your brain is happy to know that, uh, oh, well, you already did 50% of the job, that's why I'm also repeating it. In this way, I am also gonna feel better about it, and maybe it's gonna help me digest the whole run in case uh, some things go bad, you know what I mean? Like if a skeleton dies in the first battle, for example, you know? So, hey, soulstone, uh, iron spear, eh, terrible. Skeletons can't even use it. Since we're here, we could also go into the... Into the section, uh, into the Mahaber puzzle, I mean. Yeah, we can do the Mahaber puzzle since we are here, but we don't go downstairs because we will need a, we will need a purifying talisman for that. But we can still complete this. So, one, two. Olivia Wilcher is only Mazomoto season two when? Maybe when the developer updates Termina. We could do something like a revival. You know, since Nickelodeon was doing uh, all those revival, like iCarly revival, they did uh, Zoe 102, which is basically the movie that uh, finishes the story. You know, that kind of stuff. We could do a Fear and Hunger Olivia Mazomo the revival at one point. <laughs> that sounds interesting. 
I don't understand uh, how only skeletons can wear uh, stuff. Uh, I think it was just uh, as a way to balance things. Maybe the skeletons, uh, I don't know, are less uh, rotten than the goal. <laughs> I know it's paradoxical, but maybe for the fact that the ghouls have a skin, that skin is uh, so infected and uh, rotten that they are so weak that they are not able to keep anything. Instead, the skeletons are held together by another type of otherworldly, otherworldly power. And because of that, they are more able to keep stuff. I'm just, uh, I'm just gaslighting myself. It's just a gameplay thing, to be honest. Like, uh, we can speculate about it all the time, but it's just a gameplay thing. It's literally just a gameplay thing. Okay. Oh, I didn't use a, I didn't use a, a, um, a lucky coin. What the? Eh, of course we fail. <laughs> of course we fail when I don't use a lucky coin. Now, let's stay on the right side of the arc. Otherwise, our boy, the Caromolder, dispose. And let's pray to Grogoroth. Easy. Okay, since we are here, I guess we're gonna rush for the Vendor. How many silver coins do we have? Silver coins? 89! Maybe I should st stop looting stuff until we buy stuff from the Vendor, otherwise there is the chance we go over 99 silver coins. Maybe? Hmm. Yeah, you know what, for now let's just rush to the Vendor. For now. Is Termina better or worse than the first game? That's uh, very opinion-based. Like, in my opinion, uh, the first one is uh, much better than Termina. In my opinion. <gasps> yes! Uh, Skull of the Wizards! Uh, that's a uh, great, great applause. Yes! Uh, we need this! Uh, we need this to circumvent the coin flip problem with the, the skeletons. Uh, so we don't have to fight the other <laughs> the skeleton Goroths. Uh, you know what I mean? And now... Do we get another empty scroll? Empty scroll! Empty scroll! Scroll of the Longs... Okay, we got a leg sweep. We can use the leg sweep to destroy some eyes for Grogoroth, but we already have the possibility to craft a black vial, uh, murky vial later on, sorry. Murky vial, so, eh, whatever. By the way, guys, uh, I want to thank you because uh, it was it has been two weeks uh, since the last Fear and Hunger stream, yet today we are 680 people! Thank you so much, guys, for the support. And remember, next week we have a collaboration with the Super Hypatch Wolf. I will, I will be sure to remind you uh, during the stream schedule and once the collaboration starts. But of course, be sure to come even to his stream because uh, it's gonna be very funny. There is gonna be a lot of unexpected stuff, I can guarantee you. All right, our purifying talisman has been obtained. I think I'm gonna buy some other stuff. So, let's make a little bit of a calculation. Okay, now, before doing any type of calculation, let's first explore fully Mahabre. What do we get? Empty scroll! Yes! <laughs> Already three empty scrolls, so that's not bad. That's definitely not bad. Actually, let me buy some more stuff, since we have 84 silver coins. So, let's make a, a calculation, okay? There are two soul stones in the Temple of Torment. Two soul stones. There is one in the Grand Library, near Valtail. And that's about it for the soul stones in here. Then, there is another soul stone near the Cave Mother, which we still did not take. And those are four soul stones. Let's go a little bit on the boss list. For the bosses we need Caramon, Iron Shakespeare, Salmosnik, White Angel, Black Witch, Cave Mother, Old Guardian, seven. We need seven soul stones for the bosses. Seven. And we can get four more for, from, uh, from uh, guaranteed spots. So we are gonna get... Uh, there is still a chest we could loot in the Parisons, which I still did not take because I require a small kit to enter in it. With a 50-50 for a soul stone. And even here in Mahabre. But since I want to explore more and loot some stuff, I'm gonna buy one soul stone and another purifying talisman. I think 50... Yeah, 54 silver coins is good for going around in Mahabre. I think we shouldn't... Uh, we shouldn't reach once again the coin limit. Yeah, I think this is good. All right. Now. Another iron spear from the vase. This time already six silver coins. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Maybe my plan is gonna collapse a small key, so maybe we can try the 50-50 for a soul stone in the, in the prisons. And we are here in the Grand Library. The other thing we need to do is maybe to get the lucky coin, which is in the back alleys. So before exploring the Grand Library, we go to the back alleys, because there is another lucky coin we can take. And in the Tower of the Endless, maybe. I should have gone there before, actually. Ah, whatever. I should have gone there before, because there is another lucky coin. And you know, I'm gonna take all the chances I can to get some good scrolls. Empty scroll! Empty scroll! Eh, empty scroll! 
It's gonna fencing. Uh, no. Like, I don't even think we are gonna use the skull of fencing, to be honest. There is just one case in which I can think about using it, which is if we keep on ourselves the um, ever watching talisman. But I don't think we will. I seriously don't think we will, but we will see, you know. Once we gather all the possible supplies, we will decide our strategy. For now, it's just going around and loot in order to be prepared, okay? Thanks for the great content, my message didn't go through. Oh, thanks, Ayaver, and thank you for the 20 INR. Sorry, I didn't see it. <laughs> thank you so much for the super buddy, I really appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, sorry, the empty scroll! Empty scroll! <laughs> Another empty scroll! <laughs> Perfect. Thank you so much, uh, Ayaver, by the way. Thank you so much for the super buddy. <laughs> All right, you know what's the problem? I am sorry to think. We don't need empty scrolls. Let me explain. The real thing we need is the freaking scroll of healing whispers. Because empty scrolls are good. Source on there it is. That's the 50-50. Empty scrolls are good. But the real thing we need is the scroll of healing whispers. Because em empty scrolls cannot teach spells to the others. You know what I mean? So even if we get all these empty scrolls, that's still not enough. We may still lose in this case. We may completely still lose. I didn't loot these, I think, yeah. We just rushed for uh, the vendor. How many silver coins do I have? 70. And we are starting to be hungry. Ah, that's not a problem. You know, another thing that sometimes I see people complaining about is that there is not a lot of food in the dungeon. But you know, even now, I don't really need to eat. I can just wait until I am a little bit more hungry because we are not really fighting anything. Ring of the Steel Blood, okay, we got the the run killer. <laughs> we got the run killer, the Ring of the Steel Blood, in case we accidentally optimize. Can't you just give yourself the scroll of healing whispers with empty scroll? No. <laughs> Do you wish life was that simple? <laughs> <laughs> Do you wish that the life was that simple? No. Empty scroll cannot give you the scroll of... Uh, cannot give you any scroll on that uh, department. So, let's go to the present. Did you give yourself a book of enlightenment? They are in front of the dungeon. We are gonna take them later. I forgot to take them before. So I just decided we are gonna go all the way around the dungeon to collect the, the necessary stuff. And then we take them. That's the plan. Tinderboxes, lucky coin. Lucky coin! Yes, that's what I wanted. Now, if you obtain Easter Resort through the Empty Skull, would the ghost still haunt you? If you... Uh, okay, this is more complex, so... I'm gonna make it simple. When you... Uh, when you use an Empty Skull, yes, the ghost haunts you. But... This depends from one thing. If you already killed... If you already killed the... The... Um, the ghost in the... Wait, why am I here? I cannot... I don't have the... I don't have the... Um, the blood portals. Depends if you are... If you already killed the, the... The ghost in the run. If you already killed one ghost, there will never be ghosts ever again. What you can do is... Uh, you use an empty scroll to get the Easter Sword, and then you go into the thicket, and you take the Easter Sword from the ground... Uh, no, sorry, sorry. You... You empty scroll an Easter Sword. You kill the ghost, then, if you go and take the Eastern Sword that is in the thicket, in that exact moment, and only in that exact moment, you will be attacked by another ghost. That's the only occasion in which you can get two purified Eastern Swords. Okay? That's the only occasion in which you can get two purified Eastern Swords. Sorry, I got a little bit of brain lag at one point, so I was kinda <laughs> I was kinda confused. So only in that situation the ghost still holds. In other situations, the ghost just will not spawn again. There should be a super lucky coin in Fagger 3 that lets you flip three coins. <laughs> no, there shouldn't. There definitely shouldn't. Like, already the lucky coin is broken. Like, I sincerely think the developer should not have added this. Like, okay, it was done because uh, a lot of people wanted it added to Termina, and then they said, you know what, I'm gonna add it to the first game as well, but I don't like it. Whatever. Uh, how did you even figure that out? Uh, after looking at the code for uh, hours and hours, uh, you first of all question your sanity and uh, your life choices, but also after that you kind of realize uh, uh, quite a few tricks, honestly. So, right here... Oh, it's time for another thing which I already told you about uh, in the previous stream. Uh, no, actually not right now because uh, right now there is no need to do that, uh, but uh, it's re uh, it's regarding the scarab. It's a thing that I'm really proud of discovering uh, because I have almost never heard of anyone talking about it. 
<laughs> and uh, like for sure someone knew about it uh, for sure like I'm not saying it was not uh, it was not known uh, but still uh, I did not know it. purple vial did we get a purple ah <laughs> 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 you know, I think the purple vial chance from uh, a, a, a vase is the same one of the empty scroll. <laughs> I think. No, not, not not the same actually. There is one uh, uh, like uh, like maybe maybe it's a little bit like a double the chance. So like the the thing I discovered is uh, look the scrub is luring out of the exit, but if you wait, uh, he goes back in and you can walk safely. That's something I'm really proud of discovering, but uh, now we leave. Now we leave because we don't care about that scarab. No, wait, actually, we need to go there, <laughs> actually. No, I'm stupid. We need to go there because we need to trigger the... We need to trigger the... Um, How is it called? The secret laboratory. Okay, I guess we can do something else to circumvent the problem in case uh, we may run into the scarab. Which is... Uh, we go into the present from here. We could just escape the battle, but whatever. I already, I'm already here and I thought about it later. Is purple by a rare? Like, it's not a rare. Uh, yes, I, technically, yeah. It is rare. That's the, the whole reason for which I was excited. Okay, there it is. Lord of the Flies. Have you seen this artist in the Discord named Gothrax? I did. I, I, I did definitely see it, uh, Roadkill Luigi. I also talked to them uh, in the in uh, private because I wanted to maybe do something uh, with those, uh, those uh, sprites they made. Like, uh... We will see, we will see. And maybe it's related to something that is gonna appear in the collaboration stream with Super Patch Wolf. You will see. What do you need to kill to have the S endings? Basically, all the bosses that appeared in my... In my... Hey. Okay, there it is. All the bosses that appeared in my boss tier list, except the final bosses. All right, there is another lucky coin here, by the way. Which we are gonna take... Hello? I don't care about you, I can just uh, circumvent you because I can just escape. There we go. We can just escape. Easy. Did you know if you lockpick the girl with four party members, she still joins you? Yeah, 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 I know that part. I already fixed it in my bug fix mode. I already fixed it. And after that, uh, the funniest part about it is after that, uh, there is another funny bug you can trigger with that. The majority, let me explain, the majority of uh, the situations in which uh, you cannot make someone join checks uh, if you have exactly four party members. If you take the girl in that spot, uh, you have five. So, in those checks, uh, you can actually take more party members, you know what I mean? So you can arrive to have like uh, 13 party members or something, you can recruit the whole dungeon, literally. That's so funny. That's very funny. All right, we, do, do we have our No, we, there is no way we have arms because we literally did not kill anything. <laughs> we literally did not kill anything. Also, let me trigger the shortcuts just in case. Hello, Mr. Purple. I've discovered uh, uh, Fear and Hunger from Sea Dog VA's playthrough, and I've been checking out your lore videos to get into the game's story. Oh, thanks, buddy. Uh, actually, I am gonna make. Uh, I am preparing a proper or lore video for Fear and Hunger One, in which I'm gonna give my complete unique take on uh, the whole story. But it's uh, very much a work in progress, like, uh, I think it's gonna require at least one or two weeks to be completed. Because every time I think, my my brain is satisfied with the explanation I give to myself, I think, but wait, there is this other thing which may be kinda misleading. Wait, there is this other character in Termina. Wait, there is this stupid dialogue with the Kaiser in Termina, where it seems uh, that the Kaiser was able to do both Najra and Ragnavalder at once. Like, uh, uh, sorry, uh, sorry, I, I will not scream anymore. I will not scream anymore, I promise. But still, yeah, so. <laughs> Every time I think I reached a conclusion for my uh, lore video, I just add more stuff. Like, uh, uh, I want to discuss all the characters separately. And uh, Legard and Darcy both have like five pages. Five freaking pages for Legard and Darcy. Because every time I think I arrive to the bottom, there is something else that misleads me. Every time. Kaiser was able to do Ragnavalder. Oh, because there is a dialogue between August and uh, and Legard, uh, the Kaiser, sorry. Which kind of implies some stuff with uh, Ragnavalder, but also there is some other stuff uh, which implies uh, another ending. Like, eh. Yeah, he could do both at once, which is the kind of the road I'm trying to I'm trying to not go for, because I want to have a sort of uh, canon route.
out uh, and they want to try to stick uh, to the to the gameplay elements as much as possible even though let's be clear let's be clear i am the first person that says that the girl is able to enter into the gauntlet by herself and achieve the god of fear and hunger ending by herself and that kahara was able to escape with the s ending and if you think the opposite you are wrong all right so find a stick uh how many sticks do we have by the way 14 sticks uh, that's not bad you think that uh, Rag is August? No, 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 no. <laughs> like uh, centuries uh, passed, uh, centuries. Uh. Ragnavaldor is not immortal. Uh, but <laughs> Ragnavaldor is not August at all. Uh, what do you mean? Welcome, divine. Oh no, wait! Whoa, 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 whoa. Before going back into the past, uh, here there is a soul stone. There we go. All right, we kind of looted everything. I think the only thing uh, we are missing is to go all the way back to the entrance of the dungeon and start with the Hex and Shenanigans. After we start with the Hex and Shenanigans, it's just gonna be a matter of trying the Gerogaroths. Can you explain why the Zord Kahara holds in uh, his S ending screen is found in Fanger 2? Because that's not a... that's not Kahara Zord. That's a Zord, like, uh, you know what I mean? That's not a Kahara Zord. It's like saying that uh, the axe uh, Ragnavaldor uses uh, is the same one that uh, he has in this game or something. Uh, like, you know what I mean? The difference, like, uh, between August shooting arrows to... Um, to the Kaiser and saying, do you remember these arrows? And uh, Kahara having the Sabbat uh, is that uh, the arrows uh, uh, August uses are not necessarily Ragnavaldor arrows. They may just be Oldegard arrows, like the manufacturing Oldegard or something. Or maybe they were part of Ragnavaldor equipment to take down Legard the first time, you know what I mean? Like, there are a lot of other explanations. Instead, uh, uh, Kahara never really has a moment in which it's, it's confirmed that it's his sword. And even if it is, then what does that mean? Couldn't just uh, someone take it from the corpse of Kahara regardless? Like, uh, that's why I think... Uh, Justifying that Kahara is alive for that reason, I don't like it. But justifying that Kahara is alive because, in my opinion, the girl did the um, God of Fear and Hunger ending by herself every day. I will take that every day. So, since we are here also, do we have a small key? Oh no, we don't have a small key. Whatever, in the, we still have the White Angel Soul, we're gonna be fine. Spectre von Baven, thank you for the $10, buddy! I have, a th have seen a theory that the body of Olmir in the dungeon is actually sold for. Oh yeah, I, I did see that theory too, actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. As well as being the actual being that is worshipped in Fear and Hunger 2. What do you think of the, of the theory? To be fair, uh, when I say that I'm trying to make my lore video mostly related to Termina, uh, I, got, I also gotta say that I still... Don't have completely clear the lore behind the soul for cultists for now. I'm trying to document myself more. But uh, I like that theory. Like, I think there may be some fundamentals into that. Like, because uh, the whole idea about this uh, ascension uh, and detaching yourself from the... From, like, the, the the evil part of your body, the corruption, etc. I kind of like that idea. So, yeah. Like, I while I still don't fully comprehend it and I'm trying to learn it with the time, I kind of agree with it. You know what I mean? But thank you for the support spectrum of Baron. I really appreciate that. Alright! Feels feels very good to be back here, buddy. A oh, long time no see, idiot! <laughs> you are still a complete and utter moron. Complete and utter moron. Impossible challenge, Ragnavald are sending no bugs. Meet bug, you lose. I mean I could just circumvent all the bugs. Once you know what where there is a bug, you can just avoid it, you know what I mean? So it is possible technically. <laughs> Like, uh, you need a lot of knowledge, uh, and uh, in some parts it may also be kinda... kinda weird, uh, because some things are not really clear if they are bugs or no. Alright, Soulstone. So, we should have uh, three lesser souls. There we go, exactly three lesser souls. With these uh, three, it is time to finally get some skills from the Hex, and potentially... Blood Portal. <laughs> but Blood Portal, it's, ma it's mainly what we want. Okay. So, you never truly know in Fanger, you ne exactly, you never truly know. Like, some things uh, can be confirmed, like the screen becoming black uh, after you take Miasma or something, but still. Apart from those uh, obvious ones, uh, there are some which are kind of on the line, you know what I mean? Which is why, when I do some bug fix streams, uh, sometimes I am kind of I'm kinda skeptical. Should I fix this? Is this a bug? You know what I mean? Okay. Hmm. What else do we do now? We have two more lesser souls. What do we get with those? Do we get healing whispers? 
and therefore we never use pheromones in the battles against uh, in the battles against Kerogaroth. Do we take necromancy? Therefore, uh, not having a healing capacity and needing to re to get it, uh, or uh, either using other lesser swords. Eh? Ah, a okay, have entered into the other part of the room. <laughs> okay. Okay, first of all, let's take the Book of Enlightenment, since, here, since we are here. You know what? Yeah, let's do that. How many coins? How many coins? 81! Perfect! The majority of the dungeon is looted, and we are not uh, over coins. Perfect. Does your bug fix mode solve the Miasma fight bug? It does. It absolutely does. Other part of the room? Yes, the, the Hexen room is in the same quote-unquote room of the um, the torture chamber like the the zone where there are the priests you know what i mean so the chromoler when you are in the hexen room still spawns but spawns in the in the in the torture chamber room yeah that's complex okay here there are the 99 book of enlightenment there we go remember these are not usable to just reload the same file if i lose these are only usable in case we get soft locked because of a bug okay that's the only case in which they get used, okay? Perfect. One mind. Yeah, we don't care because even if we do get panphobia, even if we do get panphobia, uh, did I not open this door? Uh oh. I am scared. Did the bug come out once again? I am sure I opened that door. Did it? No, maybe maybe it was uh, maybe it was uh, my, my imagination. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe it was my imagination. Uh, you know. <laughs> In like four of your past challenge runs, you have used those books specifically for save scamming. No. Only once it was, and it was in the Bloodlust only run. Nowhere else I did that. No. Nowhere else, what do you mean? Like, find me the four past challenge runs in which I did it. I will be waiting, buddy. Today I was playing Termina and I saw for the first time the Guernica of Picasso in the game. A painting about my hometown, it was amazing. Uh, oh, yeah, the Guernica picture. I love it. Uh, I love it. Yeah, I remember that part. Fantastic the picture. Yeah You sound awfully defensive. No <laughs> This is my usual voice when someone accuses me of something. I didn't I didn't do literally, but still I still waiting for the Regen vault. <laughs> oh Wait, the upper cup. I just remembered you were the one that gaslighted me into the minor magic protection. Yeah <laughs> We were playing Elden Ring one time and uh, I wasn't dealing a lot of magic damage or something. And the reason uh, this moron was able to come up with was that they had minor magic protection or something. God damn it. <laughs> minor magic protection, whatever that... What does it even mean? Like, that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> whatever. Also, the Elden Ring DLC is gonna come out very soon, right? Uh, like, uh, I saw some uh, trailers. I didn't watch them. I saw they came out, uh, I think. Uh... Like, I saw someone uh, mentioning there was a trailer or something. Imagine everything was Nashva. Impossible. <laughs> Impossible. Okay. The blood portal on the level 1 is triggered. I guess now we go to the mines, uh, and then we go to the lower floors. You say we were playing Elder Ring one time, like I was sitting on the couch beside you playing it with you. No. <laughs> no. I hope it was the case, but it wasn't. It was you from getting a hit with magic by minor. No, no. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. All right. Remember, we're almost there. We uh, wait. Uh, is this the run in which we parade to Olmir in the mines? Uh, yeah, I think this is that run, right? Uh, we parade to Olmir in the mines. Uh, therefore, we can pray to Garokov and Silgen in the other places. We do have a small key. How many small keys in total? Four. That's perfect. We are. We start by opening this door for later. There is also a door, a door near the Salmon Snake, which needs to be opened with this. But that's a relief, uh, because uh, we will need to also open... Hey, someone is staring at you. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's just a random message. We need to also open the, um, the door in the level 7 basement to get another blood portal in there. Uh, hello, Night Lurch. Uh, how are you, buddy? Eh, 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 eh. Okay, actually, we can go back to the first level. We don't really need to, to reach the level 7 basement from here. And it's easier to just go back on the first level and to go to level 7 basement by going through the staircase in the prison. Yeah, that's what we do. That is definitely what we do. So, uh, level 1 entrance. <laughs> Spectre von Baven, thank you for the $5, buddy! If the Gargoth that we fight is like a shadow of his uh, pinky toe, then uh, when is he stronger than Sylvian, who is in uh, her own world of existence? Uh, 
えっ ?What? <笑> what does that even mean? I, I'm not understanding what I'm reading. What, 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 what is a pinky toe? Like, the, the toe is the, like a finger? Like, a, uh, what? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I generally was confused. Good job, you did your part. <laughs> Thank you for the super buddy. <laughs> does the Night Lurch still give the Anal debuff, right? Yeah, it does. It wasn't changed uh, at all. Worst player in the game, by the way. Worst player in the game. Uh, so, <laughs> I have a channel with 7,000 people, most of which are for Fanger, and I still go on the stupid, stupid Rusty Nails. God damn it. Run lost, reset. <laughs> Imagine. If this was the no heat run, we would have reset in that moment, actually. Fortunately, this is not the no heat run, so you can't hurt me in this moment. Alright, blood portal in here, let's go. Good. Uh, hey, is this the Chromola in the donation screen? Okay, yeah, it is the Chromola in the donation screen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm always scared because I don't uh, I, I hear them in the same uh, volume uh, So I'm always scared wait is this the real caramel or is that the donation caramel there? <laughs> all right, we are back, baby. I Guess it's easier instead of going all the way around the dungeon to just go through here boom <gasps> No Oh, oh Oh no. Oh no. Am I fast enough to maybe, maybe? Yes, wait, wait, wait. We can do something. We can do something. No! Okay, I need to listen to my thoughts. Maybe we will not have a lot of time to think about this. Okay, let's think, let's think, let's think. Sinewi Jawar, thank you for the five dollars. The goat is streaming Fanger. How are you, my friend? Welcome to Stream Buddy. Thank you for the support. We need to think. We need to think a lot. We have all the instruments we can use to win this stupid fight. Okay, we have all the instruments in our inventory. It's gonna be kind of scuffed because maybe I'm gonna waste some empty scrolls. But there are some ways to win this. There are some ways. Let me... I need to think, okay. I'm, I'm thinking about a plan. Okay. I am trying to, like, uh, elaborate it in my, in, my, in my head. There is a way to win. Passages of Mahabre. We don't have the pass... No, we already took the passages. Like, a. Uh, no, 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 no. Even, no, wait, no. It doesn't work regardless because you're gonna get teleported here. Okay. Bird chop. No, even if I use the bird chop, it's, uh, it's useless. Like, uh, they still move. Uh, it's not like uh, after I use the bird chop, they just uh, stop moving. See? They keep moving. Like, uh, okay. Face step, no. Face step is not allowed. It's a cheat. Literally a cheat. Spectre Devon Bavin, thank you for the five dollars, buddy. Just to clarify, what I mean is that uh, uh, this choreography is not him at full power. No, it is him at full power. What do you mean? <laughs> but thank you for the support, buddy. I really appreciate that. Why are you guys suggesting the passages of Mahabre? That doesn't fix the situation. No, I'm not gonna clip out of bounds. Come on, that's cheating. No, we're gonna fight one Garogaroth right now. We are gonna fight one Garogaroth right now. This is not a soft lock. We're gonna win. It would be a soft lock if we were not able to win, but we are. So, greater blood magic. Unfortunately, we will have to waste some empty scrolls, but I have a plan. Okay. Oh lord. Boom. Give. Mm -hmm. Leather. Armor. Okay. That's the first part of the plan. Now, yeah? We enter into the battle with Kavokavoth. I'm not gonna face step, guys. Face step is a cheat! I don't use face step in my challenge runs, okay? I don't, okay? No! <laughs> Stop mentioning face step! Uh, just use face step! No! We either come out of the situation as a man or we die in here, okay? It's not Jover. 
<laughs> Stop being non-believer, guys. Uh, can you support me in this hard moment in which I'm uh, kind of sad because maybe I die? Instead of saying uh, just reset. No, you should support me in this moment. Okay, let's focus. Let's focus. Let's focus. Then we have the skull of fencing, skull of the general. Eh, it's still gonna be kind of a 50 50, unfortunately. It is still gonna be kind of a 50 50. Panic, thank you for becoming a member, buddy. I love you, Frappe. I'll always be, uh, be Frappe when you got this. <laughs> thank you so much. Welcome back to the big shots, buddy. Okay. Now, we also have fast attack. We don't have uh, loving whispers. So maybe I should use the Skull of the Church of Sylvian to teach Loving Whispers to myself. But in that case, the Skeletons will not be able to use it. That should also be fine, technically. Like, Skeletons are kind of dumb with it. Yeah, I'm gonna teach it to myself. Then... The main thing... Uh, this is... Uh, um, defense Dance, if I remember correctly. Okay. Bjorgrav, thank you for the one pound, buddy. Thank you for the support. Yeah, I want to I want to empty scroll the blood golem. I am just thinking if there is another thing I could do. Because let me explain, okay? Let me explain. In this current moment, I could enter the battle. Enter the battle. With the ever-watching talisman equipped, which means I take less damage from the claw of a god. Also, uh, Gaunt Bassinet. We need to empty score the Gaunt Bassinet. Uh, because we're gonna empty score it regardless later. Oh lord. Give. Uh, boom. Gaunt Bassinet. Okay. It's still fine, we can still escape. Why did you get the hard leather armor if you were going to get the gold armor? No! Only the best in it! The hard leather armor is for fire protection. The best in it is for physical protection. Okay. Now, the wooden buckler is not ideal, but we are gonna deal with it. And guard does not work on Grokaroth. So. In the current moment, we have one of the possible highest defense currently. Listen to my plan. If I put the Everwatching Talisman, Clova God doesn't deal the same damage it usually deals. Also, Gaunt Bassinet plus Hard Leather Armor plus Wooden Buckler should reduce the damage even more. We start the fight with Defense Stance. Defense Stance gives us 50% evasion. 50% evasion means Clova God is gonna miss at least once, hopefully, on the first turn. And with a little bit more luck. But maybe the Blood Golem is necessary. Maybe the Blood Golem is necessary. Maybe. Hmm. Okay, first of all, do I have Alchemilla Volume 1? Uh, I don't. Okay. Hmm. No, 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 no. We are gonna escape from this situation, guys. No worries. <laughs> we are gonna escape. I am cooking. Let me cook, and I'm gonna be able to win this stupid challenge. Okay. Back to full HP. Now, listen, the plans are two. Do we really use an empty scroll to get Blood Golem, wasting a powerful empty scroll? Or, we do this other plan where I do first turn defense stance, and then I try to fast stance my way out of this battle. What do we do? Do we go with uh, Everwatching Talisman plus Blood Golem, or Everwatching Talisman plus defense stance? the safest option. The problem is uh, like, even if we do get the Blood Golem, uh, I will lose my arms uh, in this uh, condition. I will, I will lose my arms. Mm. Defense stance to be a Valdusi. Defense stance is the way. <laughs> okay. A lot of people are saying defense stance. God damn it. Is this even gonna be the correct choice? <sighs> All right. All right, here we go. Let me fully refill uh, my mind. Since we are at it. Mm, do we have a pure... Yeah, we do have uh, one purifying talisman for the curse of Grogoroth. One unnecessary Grogoroth, but uh, I guess, like, 
It's gonna be proof of our skills in here. Let's eat a little bit of, uh, what do we- Oh, I had the pipe! Whatever, whatever. It's still not a problem. Uh, what do we eat? Uh, ready meat, uh, moldy bread, dried meat, there it is. Okay! Everything is ready. Let's unequip the White Angel soul for the ever-watching talisman. What about fast attack and arm guards? We don't have arm guards! We don't have them, and also ever watching talisman protects more than arm guards. Let's go. How many eyes do you open on the first turn? How many eyes? Two. Okay. Please. Give out, give out. It's a 50% evasion. 50%. Plus the natural evasion. Plus Claw of a God only has 90% accuracy. Come on! Dodge! Okay, already worst luck possible. Already? 9 damage. Miss! Yes! Miss again! Yes! 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 Okay, okay. Now! Now, fast attack! Now, fast attack! We need to set up us for the long run. Another burning gaze. Yes. Okay. Oh my god. Miss! Miss! Okay. Now, uh, first of all, let's get off the. Let's get off the the, 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 the. the curse. We're not gonna win regardless in these turns. Purifying talisman on me. Okay. Purifying talisman. Yes. Boom. Okay. The, the curse is gone, right? Yeah, yeah, it's gone. I think we guard on the normal turns. I mean, do we do we need to guard technically? No, we don't need to guard. Like, no, wait, we don't know how much damage does a clove I got to do in these conditions. We don't need how much damage. Yeah, we're gonna guard and we heal in the extra turn. In this moment, we are secured. Breathing, clove I got. Can you poison him? We can, we can. Double miss again. Okay, only one eye opened, which is the uh, the one on the head. We could poison him. No, 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 no. First we heal. <laughs> Loving whispers. We can do this without wasting empty scrolls. Uh-huh. Now, guard again in the normal turns, just in case the Clover God hits. Evasion still lasts for two turns. Oh, there it is. One attack was able to hit. Eh. Damn it. Okay. I think it's time to apply the poison. I think it's time to apply the poison. Purple. Hey. Oh. Buddy. Okay. Apply purple vial on the torso. There we go. There we go. This is the last turn we have with increased evasion. The last turn we have. We keep guarding because 17 damage from Clova God is fantastic. Even if we take both the Clova Gods, we are still fine. We are more fine than ever. Perfect. Okay, there it is, 1,000 damage. Now, burning a gaze ca cannot burn me. Only the eyes can burn me. I think the best thing to do is reapply defense stance. But, uh, yeah, we reapply defense stance in this moment. Boom. Now, 17 damage, doubled is 34. If we make even 20 damage for each Clova God, if both hit, we are still fine. And none of them hit... Perfect. Now, uh, I guess we loving whispers. Uh, there, there are new eyes open. We could leg sweep to destroy those. You know, I am mostly scared that uh, he's gonna bug out and we did not save beforehand. So if the eyes get bugged... Hmm... No, no, no. We, we heal. No, I, no, actually, no. Let, leg sweep, leg sweep. Screw you. No, no. Mm. Uh, do we still have the perfect defense? Uh, yeah, perfect guard for two turns. So even if we don't guard, uh, we, our limbs will not be taken off. Okay. Yeah, leg sweep, I guess, to destroy the three eyes. Leg sweep. All right, and now we use a light blue vial to heal. Perfect. Even if we get attacked, our arms will not be destroyed, 
And the damage will not be incredible, come on! Yes! 36. Okay. Good, the two eyes are destroyed. Now, since we are at it... Since we are at it, let's kill the other eyes. Yeah, let's kill the other eyes, I don't see why not. Boom! Can't just blow him up with vials. With... Eh? With, with which vials, sorry? I didn't craft murky vials for now, and, uh, okay, there's only one remaining eye. Uh, perfect guard runoff, right? Perfect guard runoff, but we still have two turns of evasion. Two turns. Okay, another light blue vial to heal. Two turns of evasion. Mm-hmm. Perfect guard runoff. So we guard. We guard. Mm-hmm. Explosive Vial deals only 50 damage. The eyes have 100 damage except for one eye. No! We got the bug! We got the bug! No! <laughs> I hate this stupid game. We got the Come on! Why the developer did not fix this stupid fight? <laughs> so, for those that don't know, this bug, uh, basically, from what I was able to understand, uh, basically makes it so that uh, Grogoroth is uh, trying to open other eyes. Okay, Grogoroth is uh, trying to open other eyes. But there are no other eyes to open in this moment. Uh, so it just gets stuck in a loop, you know what I mean? And uh, <laughs> the result of this is that uh, him not being able to open the eyes because they are freaking dead uh, means that we lost! We lost uh, not because of us, because of this stupid spaghetti code. Benny, thank you for the five donation of memberships, even when I'm completely mad. God damn it! Uh, thank you so much for the super Benny. Uh, God damn it. Oh, well, you didn't save at all. No, I didn't. I forgot to save because I thought we were gonna die against this Krogoroth, honestly. Instead, we were winning. <laughs> ah. We were gonna win, though. Like, uh, this ch this uh, strategy was uh, resulting pretty pretty good, honestly. Should be rewarded for being so awesome anyways. Ah, oh, thanks, Satellite. God damn it. <sighs> oh, well. So, yeah. We can't really do anything. I wonder if there is a way to fix this loop, like, during the fight, uh, or something. <laughs> I don't think there is, uh, but uh, let me see. Like, uh, even if I go in the game code, uh, I, t I gotta be honest, uh, I didn't really understand what causes this loop. Uh, like, uh, I am trying to check the code uh, right now. Let me open... Oh, okay, there it is. Uh, this is the part in which uh, all the eyes uh, get their reset. Uh. Yeah, I, don't, I just don't know what is exactly like. A, I know the, the idea behind the, the bug, but I don't know the exact part of the code, the code which causes it. Uh, so yeah, unfortunately, this run is over because of another bug. Uh, Squinto, thank you for the ten dollars, buddy. The true final boss, the bugs, the god of the depth strikes. God damn it! Thank you for the super Squinto. All right, listen. Uh, it's useless. No, I also, also, even if I try to patch it in real life, the problem with RPG Maker is uh, in order for the changes to be applied, uh, you would need to, like, uh, make it a refresh, which can be done in multiple ways, but uh, during the fight, the fight itself, you cannot change a fight. It just will not work. So, no. Ugh. God damn it. Yeah, I guess we cannot do anything, really, so... It was a good run. We should have uh, we should have destroyed the the last eye instead of trying. Can you reload a save? I didn't. I don't have saves. So this is hard mode, and I did not make them even with the soft lock with 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 the with the mental book of items I got. So yeah, this unfortunately is a refresh. Ah, it's a reset, not a refresh. Call the developer. <laughs> I gotta. Yo, buddy, wanna come on stream? We have to do the Grogo only run. Reset! Ah. Uh, this hurt me a lot. 
Nah. Listen, we do another attempt, okay? The first time we die, it's Jover. I already feel demoralized. I already feel demoralized. But we try regardless! Give me another name for Ragnavald. Are we still going? Yeah, we are still going, of course. Another attempt, at least. Hey, aren't you there? Yeah, fix this bug. Now I save my run, you talentless hack. <laughs> God damn it. No, it doesn't fit. Uh, wait, actually. Uh, Miro Mor Oh, I have an idea! Miro Moron! There we go! I name it! Miro Moron! Stupid idiot! Go back to fix the first game! Stop working on that stupid terminal! No, I, I skipped the intro. <laughs> Give me a second, sorry. <laughs> I skipped the intro. Okay. Um, uh, please uh, don't, uh, don't clip this moment of the stream and send it to Miro, okay? Miro Moron! There we go! <laughs> <laughs> Miro, this is your fault. You need to go back to the first game. Termina is already is already is already is already like that. Do something more about the first game. That's the real one. That's the best one. Termina is okay, okay, but the first game. You cannot say this is playable. God damn it! It's not possible that when I fight a freaking final boss, there is a chance that I just oh uh, yeah you know. The eyes just uh, are stuck in a loop, and uh, you just loop. Uh, God damn it. <laughs> Maybe we'll make all your, all your coin flips to fail. <laughs> Maybe. God damn it. If it makes you feel any better, uh, you cause me to wishlist the Final Fantasy X on stream. Oh, nice. Uh, I'm very happy to hear that. Final Fantasy X is one of my favorites, honestly. It's not the best introduction to the series, in my opinion, but it's my favorite one. Definitely. <gasps> Scenery Jaguar! Thank you for the fifty dollars, buddy. <laughs> Stand proud, Apollo. You are strong. <laughs> I'm gonna try, I guess. Good luck, and I hope this gives you motivation. You and drag the goats. <laughs> the goats. <laughs> Thank you so much for the super scene with Jaguar. All right, uh, maybe you're right. Maybe, maybe it's better to stop being demoralized. It's time to go full focus. Okay. Do you hear this sound? I am slapping my face. I need to catch away all the negative emotions. We need to be fully focused because maybe this run that we do right now will not be the best one, but we still are gonna try our best. Thank you so much, Sina Jaguar, for the support. I really appreciate that. And thanks even to Spectre of Baron for the $10! Call the developer only for both to spend an hour trying to communicate with Italian English and Finnish English. <laughs> Thank you for the super Spectre of Baron. No, actually, I talked to the, to the developer in the past. It was before, like, the game blew up a lot. So it was actually easier to enter in contact with him. You know what I mean? Like, uh, it was easier because uh, there was uh, such a smaller community. Like, in the moment in which I joined the Fear and Hunger, it was before Super Eye Patch Wolf made the video about Fear and Hunger. So it was, a bit, it was a little bit smaller. And I was able to actually talk to him. Like, uh, bit, uh, by contacting the mods, I was also able to, like, uh, uh, explain to him about my bug fix mod. Uh, because I was I was scared that maybe there were some problems with creating mods. I don't know if there was, uh, like, the need for the consent from uh, the actual developer of the game to release mods. Because, you know, for example, do you know the little uh, problem there was with uh, the Pokemon Palworld mod uh, that recently got uh, taken into action from uh, the Pokemon company? You know, the kind of stuff. So, yeah, I was able to talk to them in that situation. Now they are just kind of kind of busy, so that, that's understandable that they, that they don't uh, respond anymore to messages. When is the collaboration with Super Patch Wolf? It should be on Thursday, from what he told me. Uh, from what they told me. Like, I don't know if there are going to be some problems. For now, it has been uh, set for Thursday. And hopefully it's gonna stay for Thursday. I'm gonna make an announcement regardless tomorrow during the stream schedule. And I'm also gonna make another announcement once the stream actually starts. Just to be sure that uh, you can be sure to follow it. Alright. Like, uh, this is maybe the, the greatest uh, Fear and Hunger collab uh, that will ever exist. The literal father of uh, Fear and Hunger uh, content creation, Super Patch Wolf. Uh, and... Uh, a, a guy dressed with the same jacket as Pocket Cat. Like, a, can you imagine a better collaboration? <laughs> Ooh, Eagle Crest Shield. That's gonna be good later. Also, that strategy for Grogroth didn't seem too bad, honestly. Like, the, the Everwatching Talisman Defense Stance thing, it still relies on RNG. But, but, uh, you know, 
Are we gonna do a face reveal? No, 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 no. I am only voice, only voice for now. The face reveal is gonna be at 100,000 subscribers. Like, of course, it's not sure. Like, first we reach 100,000 subscribers, then I think about doing it. That's how it works. I discovered the Funger from uh, C. Dark Corner and I discovered you through him. Weird things that the uh, how things went. <laughs> like, uh, like, uh, like, the collaboration with Connor was uh, fantastic, in my opinion. Fantastic. I love the dedication he put into the game because uh, not all people. Nah, useless. <laughs> this is the only run in which the Skull of Bl the Dark Hearts is like a nah, useless. But still, I love the, de the dedication Connor put into Fear and Hunger because. Uh, from what I was able to gather, like, uh, unfortunately, I was able to follow a lot of his streams. Uh, I tried my best, uh, but still, uh, he usually never, uh, like, uh, he doesn't always uh, fully plays 100% completion of all games. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I remember he had a uh, Darkest Dungeon stream, for example. I don't think he really finished the game, from what I remember. <laughs> Fifty-fifty! Fifty-fifty! This is the run. This is the run! Okay? This is the run! Okay? <laughs> this is the freaky run! Where is that stupid go- oh, Okay, there it is! <laughs> now we can actually see it! Okay. <sighs> Eyeglasses. Maybe we can use them on a skeleton with the... Mm, cursed bone shears. Okay! Do we get an empty skull already? No, we don't. Now imagine we never get an empty skull anymore. <laughs> And we just lose because we don't find any useful stuff for the rest of the run. God damn it. You're seriously lucky with the 50% chance to do a run chance, dude. I mean, Berhan! <laughs> seriously lucky, we just failed a coin flip, which is another 50 50. So, you can say I was lucky because I can continue the run, but if I finish the lucky stuff in the run, it's over. You know what I mean? Alright. I currently have the flu, but this stream helps me feel a, 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 uh, a bit better. Oh, I'm happy to hear that, Rodkill Luigi. I'm, a, I'm sorry you catch the flu. I, w I remember uh, I was able to catch a flu near the new year. Fortunately, I was still able to go like uh, and celebrate with my friends. Fortunately, it wasn't too bad, and uh, eventually it just uh, ran out by that, by that time. I still had my nose uh, completely closed, but still, yeah, it was very easy. It was very good to celebrate with them. All right. I'm late. Welcome, Gagari. No, you didn't lose anything. I mean, yeah, you did lose another uh, rage moment because this game is broken. Because this game is uh, stupidly broken and uh, not for nothing our name is Mirror Moron. Not for nothing. All right. The guard is there. I keep ca catching diseases right at the summer exams. That's very bad. I'm very sorry to hear that. Um Fantastic for Polo! Fantastic for Polo! Now guess what? Guess what? The game will not make you escape anymore. The <laughs> shut up. This is all my plan. This is all my plan. Shut up, okay? Shut up, shut up. This is, this is all the plan. It's all working as intended. Okay? <laughs> it's, it's all working as intended. <laughs> Is this the confirmation with the bridge? It is the confirmation with the bridge. So in here we should be able to take the soul stone, if I remember correctly. Because there is another bridge on the other side which we can use to escape. Yeah, there it is. Perfect. <laughs> Alright. Hello, Moonless Groth. This is the most luckiest, the, the luckiest part of the run I've ever seen. Like, there were some luckier, uh, more lucky parts, like the one in which we got like uh, seven coin flips correctly in a row. But still, uh, very good. <laughs> it's been a really long time since I've watched your streams consistently. Can you tell me if uh, you and your friends still have Weekly Peace Part? Eh? No? <laughs> it was not a weekly thing. It happened just once. Also, also if you say it, if it is, I know what. Uh, it's funny if I don't uh, precise the context for it. Uh, because it seems weird there in that case. So I will not precise what that is. <laughs> I will not precise what that is. I'm gonna leave everyone in the mystery. I will try to run when. I, you know... Actually, let's talk ser seriously about this. I wanted to do a sort of challenge which uh, fear and hunger, but I am uh, this character, okay? Like, uh, we already did something similar when we did uh, the Chains of Torment only run, uh, basically being a Chambara. 
But the problem is... Uh, I don't really know other characters that could fit the role. You know? <gasps> yes! Did we really get the... Oh... Did we finally get it? Yes! This means there are a lot of corpses for the soul stones. Yes! <laughs> finally! This is the... I think it's the first time in my Grogram of Only Run streams in which we actually get the massacre! Yes! Okay! It's the first time in this stupid challenge run in which we get it. Okay! We have to not screw this up. We have to not screw this up, okay? So... Ah, I'm even more pressured now. God damn it. Purifying talisman. Better. Better. We already have one, but uh, two is better than one. Two is better than one. This also means there is a guaranteed iron spear on the corpse of the spear cave dweller near the queue of the depths. If I remember correctly. Here there is a, a rope. Yeah, 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 yeah. Remember to save. Yeah, we save after we start the fight with the Grogrofts. So for now, still, we don't save. Okay, blue vial. Do we have a bird trap? We do not have a bird trap, so we will have to juke the, the, the one near the cube, yeah. Hello, buddy? Buddy? Alright, come with me! We're, do we're gonna do a little ring around the rosy. Okay. And he got stuck! No, he didn't! Okay. Can you get stuck? Okay! He got stuck. Now, if I leave right now, he should, uh, his AI should be broken. Because now he thinks he is at the end of the corridor. Which means... That, okay, we took the um, Iron Spear. <sighs> his AI will think he is at the end of the corridor. And so he needs to walk down in order to continue his path. There it is. He's trying to walk down now. Easy. This is the kind of stuff you learn to do after uh, you play a little bit of the game. Do we have a uh, small key, by the way? Small key? Small key? Do two small... No, no. There is no reason to open that chest for only one small key. The other Moonless Guard got stuck as well. Perfect. Does going for the free soulstone during creation mean uh, missing out on dash? Yes, it does. If you take uh, the uh, soulstone during the character introduction, you will not have dash. At all. Alright, here we are. Affinity with Grogoroff. There we go. First stream I managed to catch since we started watching you, but I've been uh, loving the content. Keep it up. Oh, thank you so much, Hyper Bear. Thank you so much, buddy. Good. Now, I think the game doesn't take into consideration that uh, the game doesn't take into consideration. I don't know if it's a if it's a default RPG. Is this the Crow Molev in the donate? Okay, no, this is the actual Crow Molev. Okay, let's see where the Crow Molev is. Is he here? In that case, we are settled. Otherwise, eh. Okay, it's not here. So it means uh, we have to exit from this zone and re-enter in it, because I don't want to have the Kevomolev on the other side of the dungeon. Also, here there is a 50-50 for a soulstone, but that, ne that needs uh, using a small key. No. No. Yeah, yeah. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Come down. Okay. Is this a try two? It is, but uh, try one did not uh, end in a, in a death. It ended in a soft lock, because this game is made with freaking toothpaste and good intentions. Five tinder boxes, okay. Not soulstone. Whatever. Whatever. All right, we have to use another torch, because there's gonna be the ghost I don't want to, I don't want to run into. Boom. Hello. Perfect. Even if we don't have the passages of Mahaber... Oh, wait, we need to reset for the Kevomolar. We need to reset for the Crow Molar. Hmm. Not being able to use the passages of Mahabra now means we have to go through the ghosts later. Not not a big deal, though, because technically it's still only a matter of getting a, a, a single empty scroll to get the White Angel Soul. And come on, before leaving the first layer of the dungeon, eventually we, we will get one empty scroll. There is no way we don't get any empty scrolls. Sometimes I wonder about the good intentions Miro wants to, to hurt us. <laughs> No, no, Mimo, Mimo, Mimo is a very, is a very nice guy. Like, uh, it's very difficult to talk to him right now because he's busy into a lot of stuff, honestly, with the, with the update and everything. But he's a very nice guy from the, the time I was able to talk to him. 
He's ready to do a full randomizer run. We completed it. We completed it indeed. Alright, uh, actually, before going in here, we already have the soul stone, uh, the, the lesser soul, sorry. So we can already go and take our guaranteed blood portal, what are you doing? Okay, red herb. Is Mira and Orange the same person? Yes! He's Mira Verinen, uh, called uh, as a nickname Orange. It's a public domain at this point, so I, I can say it, of course. Now, like, I wouldn't, I would never dox someone at- uh, uh, My character got stuck for a second. <laughs> <laughs> is this mirror spirit entering into my game and trying to sabotage my run or something? Torch, roam it. Uh, and I guess here there is the guard, which is gonna get stuck in the corner forever, hopefully. Now, we still did not loot the, the bookshelves uh, in the actual uh, entrance of the dungeon. We only looted those uh, in the torture chamber, I think. I, I think. Did we, actually? I kinda removed that part from my from my brain. Oi! No! <laughs> this is the the third 50-50. At this point I'm doing it on purpose. No! Eventually! <laughs> Eventually, I, I mean, after all of these 50-50s... <laughs> what did I say? Let's not let's not waste the, the, the chance of the massacre in the Cave Dweller Village. Ah. One more. One more, okay? One more attempt. If we die again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop the stream also because uh, I need to work on the video that's gonna come out tomorrow, okay? One more! <laughs> Give me some names. Ah, uh, this challenge will never be completed. Uh. Yeah, that was exactly 100 damage, but it wasn't over regardless because at the end of the turn, the one I would have attacked. Paparoth? Paparoth? <laughs> Ravioli? Deadpollo? <laughs> Torture win? <laughs> Ragnobol? Ripollo? Ripollo? Ripollo Roth? Ripollo Roth? <laughs> All right, last attempt. It does not matter what happens, okay, guys? It does not matter what happens. We win, good. We lose, good regardless. Also, in the worst case scenario, I am just gonna suspend the stream in case it becomes very late, okay? We have the 99 Book of Enlightenment. We can suspend the stream using those. We cannot reload after we lose. Brandolph, by the way, thank you for becoming a member, buddy. Sorry. <laughs> I, was, uh, I was talking and I forgot to tell you. Thank you so much for the support. Welcome back to the big shots. Alright, so. Let's take the Book of Enlightenment immediately. Boom. There we go. Remember, they cannot be used to reload the save after we lose. They can only be used for the, for the softlocks, okay? Alright. So. Which confirmation do we get? Okay, in this confirmation, uh, come on, I can get an arm guards. Uh, I could get an arm guards in here. Come on, if you lose, don't feel bad. You're literally fighting gods back to back. <laughs> I mean, Ragnarvalder technically is considered a god. Like, it's not actually a god. But still, uh, hey, Iron Coiress. Uh, not what I wanted, but okay. Then, uh, nothing. Can we get the plate helmet? Maybe it's a good alternative to the Gaunt uh, Bassinet in the worst case scenario. Iron Coiress. Uh, oh, thanks. But re really, really awesome. A red vial, at least. That's fundamental. And uh, can we get arm guards, maybe? Arm guards? Nah. Nah. We can't, I guess. So, you stupid idiot. Maybe beco before going to the Cave Dweller Village, it's better if I actually check all the, the bookshelves. So if I get a, an empty scroll and I have a quill, I can immediately transform them into a white angel soul so we can we are actually secured from all the Gregor fights. Yeah, I think that's better. I think that's better. By the way, yeah, the way I played in the previous run was uh, poor. Like, completely poor. I made a lot of bad decisions, which is because, uh, uh, you know, after you lose a run because of something that you didn't do, you feel kinda angry. And I guess the, the anger made me feel, made me defocus a little bit, you know what I mean? Any challenges planned after Gregor Fan or no? For now I really don't have another challenge planned after this. There is one challenge that is gonna come out tomorrow in the form of a video, which is not a synthesis of a stream. It's a new exclusive challenge. But apart from that, uh, 
I mean, there is something that I'm thinking about, but in my head it's not really funny because it seems just RNG the game, which is Demon Baby Only Run. If you watched my 50 useless things, or was it 94? Yeah, it was 94 useless things on Fear and Hunger. I actually mentioned how I may do a Demon Baby Only Run. The problem is that it seems mostly just RNG to wait for the Demon Baby to actually get enough RNG to win, ag to win against the fights. Skull of Fencing! Mm, okay. I mean, if we want to make the same setup we did the previous time, maybe we can do it. One day, could you just totally sell out? Like, make a video that is 90% sponsorships for the making scale? No! On the other hand, I refused a sponsorship recently for a, a, a company that, that, from what I understood, was kind of shady. So, no. I, I, I will not mention the name, but uh, no, I, I don't think I will become completely sell out. Like, uh, we never know what happens, but uh, I hope no, at least. Uh, especially because, uh, you know... <laughs> I, I would feel kind of bad if when uh, scrolling through the comments, uh, the majority of the people was like, uh, you know, man, I like your video, but uh, I really think uh, like uh, that the sponsorship uh, made me change my opinion on you. Like, uh, that hurts more than the normal haters. Like, uh, because that's not an hater. That's something that uh, actually uh, loves your content, uh, but doesn't love uh, the stuff you sponsor. And in a sense, like, uh, the decision you take, you know what I mean? Uh, that's why I feel I will, like I will try to not do it. Uh, of course, uh, like uh, if I don't know information about uh, a company or something, that's another discussion. But eventually, I, I always, I, I always will try to not do it. And we got the elite guards to, to spawn in the torture chamber. That's fine. It's the I'm not mad, just disappointed treatment. Exactly. Like uh, if there, is, you know, when there is a uh, because there sometimes there are the haters that are just like uh, ah, you're just so butt hurt about the especially under the you know especially under the bad reviews series uh, is where the the there is the biggest density of uh, neg of negative comments uh, because a lot of people just tell me that uh, I am butt hurt because uh, uh, they are uh, talking bad about the game I like, uh, which okay if you think that. Uh, the purpose of the video was for that, okay, but uh, still, th those comments, they don't really make me feel uh, anything. But a comment of someone that actually likes the content you make, uh, and likes maybe even you, but is disappointed, uh, really hurts, you know what I mean? Uh, that really makes me feel sad. Like, uh, I don't care, uh, long story short, I don't care about the casual hater, I care about the, the, um, the, how do you say, the, the constant viewer. That's the gist of it. Have I missed anything, uh, Necronomicons? Uh, welcome, Isaac. We just did we, we did one uh, only only one ancient book in this uh, in this uh, stream, but uh, of course we failed because you you know <laughs> it's the ancient book. It's the freaking ancient book. So we start off by checking all. Do we, do we have a quill? I was talking and I didn't see if I got a quill. We didn't get a quill. Perfect. That's already a good start. Did we get a purifying talisman? We didn't get a purifying talisman. <laughs> Ah. I respect your integrity. Also, sorry about the raid jokes. I'm glad you were getting sponsors, so now you deserve it. Oh, I didn't even see the raid jokes. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> Alright. So. Come on. There are, like, five bookshelves on this floor alone with a coin flip. Which means, five chances for an empty scroll. First chance is gone. Second chance for an empty scroll. The chance is gone. <laughs> oh, hello, guard. Where do you come from? <laughs> I didn't see you. I did not see you. Literally, whatever. Okay. Let's take our guaranteed tinder boxes, the cloth fragment. Uh, okay. <laughs> double, double coin. Okay. Before, someone in the chat said, uh, Wow, you're really lucky with the 50 50. Ah, did you just see what happened? Double, double coin failed. Okay? Hey, you are really lucky with the 50-50! Whoa! <laughs> wow, you are so lucky, bro! You are literally bad at the game! You are only good if you are lucky! <laughs> I'm, I'm joking, of course. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. So... There... is another bookshare! Okay, whatever. We go all the way around, I guess. God damn, it's so annoying! <laughs> <laughs> so freaking annoying. He missed a coin flip. Two coin flips. Two double coin flips. Okay. So, here. Do, do we have an explosive buyer? I didn't even check. Oh, we don't, uh, I think. Yeah, we don't. God damn it. Okay. Later, we go back here to maybe get an empty scroll from there. 
In a sense, you were lucky. Yeah, yeah, I was lucky, but in the wrong way. Like, uh, it's always uh, uh, subjective, of course. Because if uh, it was the opposite, like, uh, if you had a uh, uh, 25% to win and a 75% chance to lose, in that case, I would have been lucky. But here, I had a 75% to win and 25% to lose. And uh, another 50-50 wrong. Perfect. Okay, okay. Let, let, let's continue. Let's continue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. Come on. Come on. There are two more coin flip bookshelves, if I remember correctly, to, to lose. Oh, no, the elite guard. Oh, no, the... Wait, actually. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If we fall down, the, the AI of the elite guard is gonna get stuck. Perfect. Perfect. By the way, we failed another, another coin flip in this moment. <laughs> just for the record. We just failed another coin flip. Rainy subs, thank you for the two, the two CA dollars, buddy. Balls. <laughs> Wait, no, you are not the same person that said balls before, right? <laughs> thank you for the super, buddy. Paul is so good uh, at escaping from the enemies that uh, he escaped the luck. <laughs> At this point, yeah, the, the luck uh, is, a, is a separate concept for me. Also, wait. Uh, on this floor, there should be a lucky coin. Lucky coin. Is it in this? No, only the red vial can open this. I forgot. I forgot. Whatever, we keep the red vial for the door in Mahabre. To prevent the Kevomoler from despawning. The guard is stuck, fortunately. Yeah, I'm sorry if we had to, re to redo the whole thing. Next time, I swear I'm gonna save before the fight with Gavogavoth. Hypnogogic, thank you for the $10, buddy. Your videos have been a companion for uh, to me for a while. Today's napping. Keep up the great work. Ah, oh, thank you so much for the support. I'm happy I was able to help you. Thank you so much, buddy. I really appreciate that. And even to rainy subs for the two CA dollars. It's all over the screen. What? The balls. <laughs> thank you so much, buddy. All right. We're back here. The elite guard should be stuck. Yeah. The elite guard seem to be stuck on the wall. Recipes. And... Empty scroll! Empty scroll missed! Okay, another one missed. Yeah, 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 let's, let's continue, let's continue. Come on, come on, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's continue. If he, okay, I swear, guys, I swear. If we fail even this coin flip, I end the stream, okay? <clears throat> so, um, what do we gather from here? That, I guess, the, the dungeon is a moron. Miro is a moron as well. Like, I guess that's literally everything that there is to it. You know what? It was just the beginning. Let's tr make another attempt. Only one! Only one! Only one! And I decide the name. Last attempt of the day. If this one dies, we need to recover because, you know, there is only one Frapol, okay? This is the last attempt of the day, okay? Just because we were at the beginning. <laughs> you know, at this point, let's just restart. We didn't get anything from the bookshelves. There was no reason to continue. <laughs> Maybe this time try Tails. No, 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 it's not a matter of that. For the way in which the coin flips are programmed, the result is already decided before you throw the coin. It's still a 50-50. But it's a 50-50 it's that is decided before you throw the coin. Unless you use a lucky coin, in that case it's more complex, but still. Okay. You had 1.5% chance to fail this badly. There it is, your 1.5 chance. What is it? Is the probability a matter studied in universities? Yeah, try to study my fear and hunger luck in universities. I am sure you will not be able to manage it. Okay? You will not be able to manage it. At all. Another fail. Another fail. Another one, another one. Okay, perfect. Uh, uh, three in a row, three in a row, three in a row. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, uh. Oh, okay. Finally, what do we get? Arm guards. Ah, God, it. Uh, <laughs> Fifty coin flips at this point. <laughs> okay. Oh, another one. Good. <laughs> the plate helmet. Maybe the luck is finally coming back. <laughs> I mean, that run was like the exorcist run. We did the exorc- uh, like, uh, we did like the exorcist. Now, everything uh, is in a better mood. Uh, and we're gonna be very lucky, we're gonna get uh, dozens of empty scrolls, we're gonna get dozens of uh, scrolls of uh, the general, the choice of Sylvian, the everything. Uh, and we're gonna win the run, right? A terrifying presence has entered the room. Uh, Mira Ferinen with the- uh, with the luck, probably. Okay. Boom. <laughs> 
Okay. Throwing dart. Throwing dart. Okay, for later for uh, Gavok, I guess. For later. It's turning around. Yeah, luck spins. We were unlucky before, maybe now... No, you know what? I'm gonna feel lucky only if we get an empty scroll from a crate. Until I see that, I will consider this run still unlucky. Also because we still have a lot of bookshelves to loot, and potentially there are gonna be no empty scrolls in those. The first bookcase you search will have an ancient book. Imagine. No, no, no. Don't imagine it, actually. Don't imagine it. Don't even think about it. Like, even in your in your best dreams, sir, I, I know, like, at least a half of the people in the chat wants me to randomly find an ancient book and then just go like, uh, for Bolo, for Bolo, use the ancient book. Yeah, you're gonna get crazy. You're gonna get the necromancy. It's gonna be fantastic. And then if I if I do it and I fail, everyone just go Lamao, Lamao fail. And if I get it correctly, I just I'm just gonna get, I don't know, Blood Golem or something. Like who cares? Uh Did we take the, the crate by interacting by while well, facing the left side? Uh whatever. Alright. Hello Seymour. What are you gonna tell me? Nothing. Okay, goodbye, idiot. Now, here maybe I want another arm guards. Another coin. Oh, we got the bug. Perfect. We got the bug where we don't get anything from this particular loot pool. If you know, there is a. If you don't know, there is a particular bug in which on this particular loot pool of the weapons on the table, there is a chance for you to get nothing because the events are not uh, programmed to loop perfectly because the. Because it's bugged, of course. Imagine this game being programmed well. Imagine. Right, Miro? Right, freaking Miro? The one critic I will always have for this stupid game is that it sucks in the bug department. That's the only critic, that the only serious critic I feel like I can move to this game. Genuinely. Okay, do we have the elite guard spawning here, therefore ending our whole existence because I'm gonna fail the juke and I'm gonna die? No, we don't. Okay. So it means it's in the torture chamber. Which is not much better, but okay. Now... We need to lure the stupid guard in there away so we can actually loot the stuff and potentially get an empty scroll. <laughs> Imagine getting an empty scroll. Hello, buddy. Buddy. Buddy, buddy, buddy. Come here. Come here. Do we have a bird trap? We have one single bird trap. I'm gonna keep it just to be sure for later. Okay. Can you stay there while I loot the, the bookshelf, please? Empty scroll. Empty scroll. Eh. Perfect. All right, uh, we didn't use the bear trap. We did not use the bear trap, and now we can pass it through there. I don't want the ballista to hit me. I mean, I have a cloth fragment, so I could just not care. But I still don't want to. So, come here. Boom! You don't, maybe you don't know this, but the ballista only shoots you if the guard is exactly above it. It doesn't matter if it's dead, alive, eh. If it's above the ballista, when you pass near the ballista, the ballista will shoot. That's how it works. Alright. This confirmation, huh? In this confirmation, it should be easy to, to juke the elite guard. We can just make it get stuck in a, in a corner or something. It, no, uh, it's not a matter of getting the tails, uh, Alien 10 AZ. The result is determined already. It's still a 50-50, but it's, it's determined already when you click. So... Basically, when you click, uh, unless you use a lucky coin, uh, the game says uh, you lose or you win. If you win, uh, if you say if you say ta if you say tails, you will get tails. If you say heads, you will get heads. But if, if the game says you lose, uh, if you say heads, uh, it will give tails. If you say tails, uh, if, it will give heads. Like uh, it doesn't matter what you pick. The coin flip uh, is not even a coin flip. It's just uh, a matter to make you feel bad. That's why I think the game is not a the game is not RNG dependent. The game uh, is uh, make you feel bad dependent. The game wants you to feel bad about what you do. Because it wants you to believe it's your fault, okay? That's the only problem about the coin flip. Empty scroll! Alchemilla. It's the second Alchemilla. No, okay. Alchemilla volume 2 and Alchemilla volume 3 at least. Okay, so this is Volmir tone page. And... Uh, empty scroll! Empty scroll! Empty scroll! The passage is okay. Okay, 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 okay. I mean... That's maybe the ever-watching talisman. The elite guard is going down. You know what? Screw it. If you want to go down, just go down. I don't care. Okay. It's gonna stay there. We, we have to remember later once we go back. 
We have to remember later. Did you sacrifice that guy yet? Not yet, not yet. We sacrifice it later. Then we can use it to do it now. Okay. Now, let's loot even the bookshelves in this other room. This game is about gambling. No, it's not. Uh, like, uh, the, the whole reason for which I need the empty scrolls is because this is a challenge run. Not because the game is RNG dependent. Ah. Okay. And the challenge of tomorrow is also gonna be focused towards that. You will see. It's a it's a challenge that will t will will prove even more that RNG is not everything. You will see. But I will not say anything else to not spoil. Imagine making a game where you choose heads and the result will always be the opposite. <laughs> I mean, if it's if it, technically like it depends also from how it's done. You know, if it's like one of those gameplay thing where the game intentionally gives you tales for a story element or something. That's cool, in my opinion. That's very cool. All right, empty scroll. Empty scroll! Empty scroll! Empty scroll! There we go, do we have a quill? Okay. Uh, okay, we're gonna play this run. This is the last run we play, but we can actually play. Oh lord! Give... A white... Angel. Ah... <sighs> The run can actually start, and we start with an empty scroll, with an M. Didn't say anything, never mind. Never mind. Also, let me check uh, one second, uh, one important thing, because... Uh, okay, no, sorry. I'm waiting for an important message, so I, so I have to check. Okay, now. Uh-huh, the guy... The card never got stuck in that weird position, uh, to me at least, okay. Interesting, I guess. Oh, there is another card. It sees me. Yeah, it sees me. But at least we can reach the, the collapse part. In here there is a collapse part and we do have an explosive vial. There we go. There is another bookshelf. Another bookshelf. Which means another chance for an empty scroll. Are you ready? Okay, first there is the chest. First there is the, just the chest, which is eyeglasses, okay. Yeah, we did, no, we didn't get the book of enlightenment, we get them later. Empty scroll! Empty scroll! No. Mm. Save the game in case of bugs. No, 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 no. We only save before fighting a Grogroth. And for now, we don't have to fight a Grogroth. So I will not save. I know it's kinda risky. But in this exact moment, it's funnier. If it's doing a battle with a Grogroth, it's not funny anymore. But for now, we don't need to fight Grogroth. So we are fine. You know what I mean? Do we have a purifying talisman? No. Once again, we will have to go all the way to Mahabra to use... Hey, where, where is the Elite Guard? Did I just pass near the Elite Guard and didn't see it? Okay. We will remember for later, I guess. It would be so messed up if the noise from the explosive vial attracted guards. <laughs> it would be very cool, though. Very cool. No, this is not the confirmation with the bridge. We don't have access to an easy soul stone, unfortunately. Still, if we can get a setup similar to the previous time... It's gonna be easier. Like, uh, that seemed the most uh, optimal setup ever. It still relies on RNG, honestly. But uh, who cares at this point? Uh, like, uh, legitimately, who cares? Uh, we already need RNG to win this challenge run. So at this point, we did the 30, let's do 31. <laughs> you said the name thing... Uh, uh, you said the same thing when two mobs cornered you in Mahabre. Mm, but if they corner me in this moment, uh, it's Jover. That's why I don't care about uh, taking the Book of Enlightenment right now. So, like, if they corner, if they, if they corner me, we are dead regardless. I don't even need to save or something because uh, I cannot. Uh, as I told you, the saves are not to reset if uh, like I get stuck. Are to reset if I get soft locked. Getting stuck and getting soft locked are different things. Getting stuck, it's just that uh, I have to deal with like, with a girl growth. Getting soft locked is uh, I cannot physically move because uh, of a bug. You know what I mean? No, you can't fight Pocket Cat if you haven't Hunger 1. I don't know why, honestly. I would have loved to be able to do that because uh, Pocket Cat is my favorite character of, of uh, the games in general. Uh, of, uh, the, of both Fiam and Hungers. Uh, so I would really love having another battle with him. Universe, uh, thank you for becoming a member, buddy! Now you have the camera under your name, my voice. Uh, my voice is breaking, by the way. Welcome to the Big Shots, buddy! Welcome to the family! <laughs> my voice is completely broken. God damn it. All right. Oh, come on. Short bow. <laughs> Short bow. <laughs> Perfect. Your favorite character. Why so? 
because uh, it's the most uh, disgusting uh, and uh, terrif uh, terrifying, uh, not terrific, uh, people told me terrific doesn't mean the, what I actually thought it meant. Uh, the most disgusting and terrifying character in, the bo in both games. Uh, and it works! Uh, that's why! That's why I love him, literally. Okay, this is my favorite character. This is not related in any way to what Pokemon has got. Yeah, of course! Like, okay, guys, uh, let's be clear. I am tired of people... Uh, I am tired. Of course it's not related to that, but uh, I am tired of people that think uh, that uh, you cannot like a character because the character is uh, bad and, and does morally wrong stuff. Like, uh, are you literally saying that uh, uh, you cannot appreciate how well a character is morally wrong? Like, uh, if it's presented in a good way, if it's done with the good, uh, interesting thoughts, you know what I mean? Uh? Like, uh, I think uh, some people don't are not able to make this, uh, this step, this mental step. Uh, my second favorite character, that's difficult. I would say Kahara, maybe. Yeah, maybe Kahara. Kahara is uh, still on a, on a good spot, regardless of being my first or second favorite. Okay, we got the... Did we get the Lesser Soul? Oh, yeah, we did. We did, yeah, 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 yeah. I saw people on Twitter having a, a go at you for liking in pocket. Got a... Eh? What? <laughs> Wait! Some people on Twitter were having a go at me for liking Pocket Cat. Ha! <laughs> we did it, guys! We arrived to Twitter, finally! <laughs> we did it! <laughs> of course, uh, um, now that you know this, please uh, don't go and uh, say anything wrong to them. Like, uh, Just let them, let them uh, have their fun if they think that... Uh, not being able to like uh, a morally wrong character is really the the most important thing to think about, okay? Don't go and say anything to them. I don't think I, I actually want to check later because I'm actually curious. Uh, but uh, please uh, don't uh, don't go and say anything to them. Don't, don't. I'm serious, okay? Do not, do not. I don't want. To, I am not responsible for anything you will do, and don't do anything. Don't. Okay. Just to be sure that uh, you don't start a war or something, uh, who cares after all, like, uh, if they are really so closed in mind that they don't uh, think that you, can like them, that you can like a morally wrong character, I think they're already in a very bad position. Also, if they think uh, that it's a good idea to get so, like, uh, so, how do you say, upset about uh, a, a video game, <laughs> like, generally. So, okay, don't consider those simple, okay? Now... Do we have a small key? We don't have it! Every time I check for a small key, we don't have it, okay. So I guess we skip the 50-50 the, the for a soul stone! Uh, mm. Perfect. I like Pocket Cat because of the whole thing with him and Dan. That's also good, yeah, of course. Uh, we have the passages, yeah, let's just take the blue scene. Boom. And... Uh, the passages! Of Mahabre! Perfect. Alright. Now, there is the most important coin flip of my life. Because, in case you don't remember, empty scrolls cannot give you the ever watching talisman. So, if we do not get the uh, ever watching talisman from here, we cannot get it ever again. Okay? Ever watching talisman! Ever watching talisman! Ever! Yes, sir! Perfect! Ever watching talisman is ours. Oh, okay. The most important part is over. We can recreate a build similar to the previous uh, the previous attempt, actually, in these current conditions. Another throwing dart, that's good. That's very good. I mean, we missed a double, uh, double coin flip, so I'm finally happy we got one single coin. Okay, another one. A morning star, which is basically like uh, not getting it correctly because it's useless. Why do you need it? Because it nullifies phobia during the battle against Grokoroth. And in our condition for having to deal with uh, two, like uh, 11 Grokoroths in this run, having a consistent plan is very important. Because we have to make sure we lose uh, uh, the, the lowest amount of party members possible. Alright, another heads, which is trench coat. Eh, trench coat is not the hard leather armor, but I guess maybe a skeleton can I keep it. Just to be sure they maybe have some more defense uh, in the in the in the worst case scenario, yeah. Red vial, five silver coins. Okay, one hundred percent the passages of Mahabre. All right, is Rag your least favorite? Uh, unironically, 
let me explain. Rug, story-wise, is good. Gameplay-wise, is worse than a, a punch in the gut. Literally. <laughs> we may say, I like Ragnavalder story-wise. It's not my favorite story-wise, but still, I don't dislike it. But uh, gameplay-wise, uh, no, no, no. Ragnavalder is the worst character of the dungeon. And it's not one of those situations when you can say, Oh, since it's the worst one, then it means you have to be good to make a good advantage of it. I mean, uh, technically, yeah, but uh, why would you even do that? You can just, you know, play a better character. The only reason you, ma you must play it is for Ragnavalder's ending. Like, uh, not because you... you th there is some cool mechanic with him. There... <coughs> <coughs> uh, sorry, Ragnavalder is taking revenge by making me <laughs> making me cough. The whole Ragnavalder gimmick is uh, oh yeah, you can use the uh, arrows which are randomly obtained through the dungeon in order to kill some enemies which you can already kill in uh, uh, consistent ways and uh, bloodlust which is useless, like <laughs> useless. There is not even uh, anything good about, about bloodlust. It's useless. All right, since we are here, do we get? Did we get a purifying talisman? We didn't. We didn't. Since we didn't, uh, I guess we immediately go to Mahabur. Yeah. Without even going back, uh, how many silver coins? Are Seventy-four. Yeah, we go to Mahabur. In this way, we also can buy some stuff from the vendor. Including the purifying talisman we need. Hello, buddy. Uh, can you come here? Boom! Bam. There we go. Also, since we are here, I think it's also time to bear trap this other moron, buddy. There we go. Double infected, by the way. That's cool. Cromoler. Cromoler. No Cromoler. Okay. Hmm. That's good. Oof. Could you do a wine review stream with all the money you will get from selling out? Uh, from selling out? Uh, I told you I will try to not sell out. What do you mean? Uh, the, the money you get uh, from selling out. Like, uh, maybe sometimes I will miss the context, etc. But uh, I will always try to not promote, uh, like, uh, shady stuff. All right. Now, since we don't have small keys, we have to go all the way around uh, and potentially having to deal with the body snatcher. Uh, how do you want to get the necromancy? Depends. Because the, the, the strategy we adopted uh, in the previous attempt to defeat the goal seemed promising, to be honest. It requires a high amount of purifying talismans. Like, we need at least one purifying talisman for each Gavogavoth. But still, it wasn't too bad. Maybe we can use it as a last resort option. Like, maybe if, we, if, if all our skeletons die... We can use it as a last resort, you know what I mean? Okay, let's remember there is a bloody man in this corridor because previous time the bloody man costed us the run. Good. Nothing. Perfect. Necromancer versus Demon Seed, which one is better? Uh, d d depends. The, like, the Demon Baby can be controlled, but that's about it. That's about it. Uh, Necromancy can give you the skeletons. Uh, which are already better, honestly, like, because uh, with the Necromancy you get access to three goals and the three skeletons. With Demon Seed you have a reusable uh, idiot. Like, it, it's a matter of priorities. It's a matter of priorities. Do you want a controllable party member? Controllable party members are better than non-controllable party members. But I still think, like, that for the moment in the game in which you get Demon Seed, it's still uh, kind of underwhelming. And you may say, but just empty scroll Demon Seed. Yeah! Do you want to empty scroll? A skill that not only you could already obtain in a guaranteed way, but also a skill of wh which whole purpose is to give you a stupid baby which cannot even keep a, a lot of items. Uh, like, uh, are you really saying, yeah, let's, let's, let's waste an empty scroll for that. You know what I mean? Uh, it seems uh, stupid to me to use an empty scroll for the demon baby. Is it possible to kill all enemies in the dungeon? Yes, of course it is. Like, of course, if, uh, except the final bosses or something. But uh, still, you, you could th theoretically do a run in which you kill everything ex except the, the potential final bosses. Yeah, you could. The machine just comes way too late for the... Exactly, like... Uh, and uh, if you want to get it sooner for uh, with an empty scroll, you could just get better stuff, uh, which is better objectively than Demon Seed, like, I don't know, Engard, uh, White Angel Soul, uh, I don't know, freaking cheese. Uh, freaking cheese is better than the Demon, than the Demon Seed. Actually, 
Now, before we're going into the door, let's uh, let's take the, the, the purifying talisman so I can op so I get access to more uh, scrolls. Have I pinged you too much? Because uh, if I ever, I'm generally I'm generally sorry. I'll try to turn it down. You you just did in this message right here, <laughs> but still, uh, nah, I don't really care. Like, uh, it's not like I, I hear a notification sound when someone someone pings me. All right, uh, empty scroll. Yes, uh, there we go. That's the first part of our of our plan. Now, all we need is uh, a lot of other stuff, actually. A lot of other stuff. How many coins? 74. I don't know if we today we are able to complete the whole run. Maybe we're gonna suspend it at one point if we're able to kill, like, I don't know, three or four Grogrofts. But I think I'm already overthinking too much. Come on. We are gonna die against the, the third Grogroft. There is no way we're able to go that far. With the demon kid, you can buy something to pocket cut. Think, uh, nah, nah, nah. I don't care. Like, uh, you can get what? Necronomicon, useless. Claymore, eh, nah. Who cares? Um, Book of the Forgotten Memories. Uh, you can already go get all the skills with lesser souls. Like you see, it's it's only underwhelming stuff. If pocket cuts, like genuinely, if you like, the only considerably good thing you could get early on. It's Book of Enlightenment, but not only later on, which is here in Mahabre, you get access to a, an infinite reusable save spot. But also, um, later on, you don't care about the, the, the demon baby anymore. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right. Now, oh, so, so, six silver coins. Uh, how many do we have? No! We got 35 si Okay, no. Let's stop looting everything. Let's stop looting everything. Let's stop looting everything. I don't want to exceed too much that, uh, that number. Nah. Serious question, can you pause the stream for like 5 or 10 minutes? Uh, I want to microwave some burritos and get some coke. Uh, oh, sure buddy, sure. Okay, now that guy left, so we can continue without him. Then, once he comes back, you have to pretend we never did anything, okay? And it was all in his head. Perfect. We are gonna do what is called a Pyro Gamer Gaslight move, okay? Perfect. Now... <sighs> Here we are. You know what, actually, let's loot this stuff. I don't care if I get double coins. Okay, no, we didn't. We didn't. So... What else do we do? Stop looting. No, 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 no. I decided I don't care if I get double coins. We're gonna reach the vendor in a second regardless. If we are destined to find more silver coins, so be it. What's the problem with getting too much coins? That we cannot exceed the 99 coins. So, all the coins you get over 99 are just lost. Forever. Empty scroll! Empty scroll! Church of Sylvia, eh, not terrible, not terrible. Buddy, buddy, buddy. Okay. <laughs> Can you increase your walking speed in the demo? You don't have the full version. Uh, yes, you have to get dash with an empty scroll. And then uh, you have to hold the shift. Ah, god damn it. You have to hold the shift in the demo in order to use dash, if I remember correctly. I played the demo recently. I have a video on the channel about it. All right, leather helmet, oil, and a red vial. Alright, we are basically in front of the vendor, so here we can actually stop looting, uh, and let's buy some stuff. We're gonna buy a couple of purifying talisman, uh, one... Uh, they don't cost five, by the way, they cost ten, uh, in case you were wondering. Also, let's buy a couple of soul stones, uh, another purifying talisman, okay. And for now we are fine, we can keep going around the dungeon. Gonna make a sandwich, uh, see you later, buddy. Failed throwing knife, perfect. You know... I kind of don't understand the purpose of the throwing knives. Like, okay, they are a reusable, uh, like a throwable item from, for the girl. But, like, there is the, the dagger. There, there is uh, the infinite stones, uh, which also can stun. There is uh, whatever. Just uh, use a s spell on the girl. How long have you been playing this game? Eh, not a lot. I think around uh, 1300 hours in total. Not a lot, honestly. I know people that spent much more time on games like League of Legends. Like, uh, I have one friend that literally spent like 3,000 hours on League of Legends. 
So I think uh, 1300 hours uh, is still uh, not a lot. You know, you know what I mean? And some ways like a death sentence though. I'd like to hunger the first time I put it on. To hunger, but you can eat uh, when you have the penis armor. You can. Empty scroll! Scroll of the black heart. Ah, god damn it. Black hearts is not good because. Uh, no, wait. Is black hearts uh, blood. No, wait. Yeah, it's black orb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to be sure. No, black orb is useless in this run because uh, you don't really need uh, black orb to fight a Grogrot. Do you know if Mira is a favorite character? I don't know, actually. I could speculate a little bit, but I don't know. Like, I think Mira appreciates Pocket Cut as well, uh, on one hand. Honestly, Demon Seed uh, would have had uh, a very mo small uh, niche if it was allowed in hard mode. Absolute. No, no, no. If it was allowed in hard mode, it would be fantastic for Ragnar Valder's ending. Like, having a second controllable party member, which basically nullifies the, 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 the whole catch of hard mode. Would have been crazy. But I prefer that Demo City is not allowed in here. Because, like, the whole point of hard mode is you, is you can't have controllable party members. Uh, then again, in front of the dungeon there is a debug spot where the developer forgot to remove the possibility to get uh, Darcy and Ragnavalder. But still, that, that's secondary. That's secondary. That's secondary, you know what I mean. Where are we? We are in Mahabre. And uh, no, we still did not kill Grogroth. We are gonna. We are still waiting uh, to be completely stacked before starting the fight. I think the game I have the most amount of time in Rival of uh, Aether, over 300 hours. I mean, that's still a good time. Also, guys, uh, since I don't. I think the people also changed uh, along this stream. I, I don't think Rival is the same as 700 viewers. Remember, on Thursday, we are gonna have a collaboration stream with Super Eye Patch Wolf on uh, Twitch. On the Super Eye Patch Wolf uh, Twitch. And it's gonna be about fear and hunger. You're gonna see there is something very special I prepared for him. You're gonna see. So, in here, all we have to do is get the lucky coin. And all the, also the soul stones near the Temple of Torment. After that, we can leave and uh, <laughs> go freaking screw ourselves around for another five hours before effectively doing something. Are you gonna guide the streamer? You will see, you will see. It will be a very particular, uh, very particular stream. I'm so hyped for it. All right, Scarab, can you go back behind? I don't want to go all the way back to be sure to not trigger. Okay, there we go. We skip the spider. Okay, ah, let's relax a little bit. You, you know, the purpose of this stream is also to have a, a little nice relaxing moment with you because uh, this time spent right here without you would have been worthless. Like, I really think uh, without the YouTube channel, without the possibility to interact with you, I would—I don't really know what would I, what would I have done in my, in my days because uh, like uh, the majority of stuff I do is uh, on Friday with my theater uh, company. But apart from that, uh, like sometimes we go around, for example, yesterday I went to a disco as I told you with some of them. But still, apart from that, uh, I usually just uh, spend time just uh, non-productively or uh, like by myself uh, which I think uh, is not exactly the best way to spend time uh, like that like uh, I go to gym uh, sometimes but uh, being with you is something else you know what I mean the swim chat is just a giant a giant flesh marriage <laughs> yeah but you are my giant flesh marriage and I will always be grateful to you for that you know you will always be my giant flesh marriage uh, and I will always be grateful to you all right, now, buff the frapol. <laughs> no, I'm not buffed. I'm just uh, average, I would say. I don't know if the correct term is average, but yeah, I would say I'm average in this moment. I am a Kahara. Basically, we may say. We love you too. Oh, thanks, Saturn King. So. Now. There is another possibility for an empty scroll very soon in the temple. But I'm starting to feel kind of skeptical, honestly. Thank you for the follow. Come, for, come here, Frapple, let me kiss those cheeks. Aww. <laughs> All right, temple time. We already have the white angel. Uh, did we have... Uh, oh, yeah, black orb, not... Uh, I thought we had uh, uh, greater blood magic, but whatever. You also have a Kahara hair. I wish I had the Kahara hair. No, I actually despise my hair. Like, it's maybe the only part about my body, but like, uh, I, I, I I, dealt with it already. Like, I'm not, like, uh, angry. 
I'm in, the, in that situation when uh, I am angry about it, but uh, I don't really care anymore, you know. I have uh, finally accepted it. But it's not like in that moment, then it means I like them. Like, I accepted them. You know what I mean? But I would love having Kahara hair. Those are just so good. Did we keep the white angel? Okay, yeah, we have kept the white angel. <laughs> I was just kind of scared I just forgot to keep the white angel soul in the worst case. The spider oath, yeah. That was the spider oath, indeed. Alright. Kahara is a rage. I hope I look as, as half as good as him. I mean, in terms of... Uh, we were talking about muscles in this moment because I said I go to the gym. Kahara is... Uh, the average person, like, uh, the average uh, body, like, the one that is not, uh, that is neither, uh, uh overweight uh, and uh, neither, uh, like, uh, in uh, anorexia or something, you know what I mean? Like, Kahara is just, uh, normal. Can you bird chop a spider? No, you can't. <laughs> you can't bird chop a spider! What do you even bird chop? <laughs> like, <laughs> the little, the little, uh, the little legs the, the, the spider has. <laughs> what the... <laughs> <laughs> Imagine placing down a bird trap with a plan. <laughs> that sounds like a, a cartoonish plan. <laughs> now we're gonna pl like we're, we're gonna plan down this bird trap. The whole plan is waiting until the spider goes on it, and after that, it's time to eat the spider. <laughs> no way, Kahara is very fit. Uh, he's not buff. Uh, he's definitely ath athletic. No, he's normal. Uh, he doesn't have muscles. Uh. Like, uh, later, maybe before ending the stream, if we die, I can show it to you. Like, uh, he doesn't have uh, a lot of muscle. Like, he's normal. No. I am mostly convinced that's uh, the average body. I don't know, maybe it also depends from uh, the culture of the place you live in. Like, uh, here in Italy, Kahara would be mostly average. I don't know if it's the same even for other countries, uh, genuinely. Did we, go did we get the lucky coin in here already? Oh, yes, we did. Oh yeah, yeah, I already looted, I already looted everything. Don't guards prefer him over Darcy? They don't make distinctions, uh, actually. <laughs> they even prefer Anki at one point, so like, uh, you know, there is, they don't have really cannons uh, for what to do. So, let's also explore the Grand Library before going back. Uh, how many silver coins do we have? Uh, 76. Boom, bam, boom, bam, boom, bam, boom. Pam, pum. Alright, Ring of Trades, uh, Green Vial, and... Uh, purple Vial? No. God damn it. Mm. Silver coin, Siren Arrow, back in here. My Italian go to the gym regularly, he looks like someone who would have been uh, going there for quite some time. No. Ah! Have you... Even Italians are... Like, uh, no! Like, uh, by looking at him, it doesn't seem too different from the usual, the average Italian person I know about. Uh, Unless I know only, like, beefed up Italian man. <laughs> Maybe the problem is me. Maybe the problem is just me. Oh, empty scroll. Alchemilla volume one. Wait, we have all the Alchemillas. Okay, that's cool. Not necessary, but still cool. Natural doctrine. And empty scroll. Empty scroll. Empty scroll, Alchemilla volume one. We are starting to get the doubles. We are starting to get the doubles because, of course, we do. Of course. All right. Now we still have some lucky coins, at least. So even here, empty scroll, empty scroll, and em yes, sir. empty scroll. Okay, one. Eh, I would have wanted the event to give me more. Hey. What? Did we? Oh. Hypnos! Okay, I, I heard it! <laughs> Hypnos, thank you for the $5 donation on PayPal! Okay, good night, uh, good morning. Off to draw you and pocket at the ship art now. <gasps> yes, please! <laughs> that would be pretty funny to see, honestly. I I would love to see that, actually. You can uh, post it in my Discord server whenever you want. Thank you so much for the support, buddy. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> the art with me and Pocket got the... And now, empty scroll! Empty scroll! No. 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 No, 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 There are still two spots, I think, here in the Grand Library where we can get an empty scroll. One is here. Empty scroll! Empty scroll! Empty scroll! Empty scroll! Empty scroll! Empty scroll! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Five empty scrolls! There we freaking go! Maybe, maybe we can actually win. 
Okay, hands on the back. Uh, uh, meditation, Giga Chat, uh, whatever. Okay. We can make proper X Pocket Guns. Of course you can. Uh, I didn't give any limits on like fan arts you can do on me. Like uh, you, you don't have any limits. If you like to do something, uh, I appreciate it. Whatever it is, uh, I appreciate it. Of course, because you you put time into it. Like maybe I don't know. Don't just uh, I don't know. Stick myself into AI generated content or something. Uh, but whatever. Apart apart from that stuff, I don't really care about uh, this kind of stuff. All right, uh, and that's it. Five empty scrolls. That's not bad, uh, to be honest. Uh, could have been much worse. Uh, if you could be friends with one Fangar character, who would you pick? Uh, hmm. Ragnavalder, I think. Like, paradoxically, because, uh, like, Kahara would be an opportunistic uh, that would just uh, leave me alone whenever he can, if he can, if he can gain benefit. Uh, Darcy? Would be too, too, too would be too focused on thinking about Legard for actually being one of my friends. Enki doesn't want friends. I think Ragnavalder. In your opinion, what Fear and Hunger Termina failed to do compared to Fear and Hunger One? No, let me precise. When I say I prefer the first game, it's not that I think the second is objectively worse. For my taste, the atmosphere. That was created in the first game with the tight corridors, uh, etc., is completely lost in the second game, and they much pref and they much more prefer the this atmosphere. Also, the resources in Termina are uh, a mess. There are big, uh, like the big areas, uh, have nothing in there. Nothing. There are big empty rooms. You either put something in there because okay, you may say ah, it, it's to create the atmosphere, etc., but it's still an empty room. Like. Uh, I could create a game with 1,000 empty rooms and one room with actual story. Would you say the game is good? I wouldn't. I wouldn't. So, uh, anyways, but that, that's just my take. Like, you can, of course, prefer Fear and Hunger Terminator to the first game. I disagree completely. But uh, it, it's your fault. Just like you have your fault, I have my faults. Never gonna like this is very opinionistic, so you can you can uh, prefer what you want. I'm thinking if I if it's better to go back from here because there is the harvest man. Mm. Yeah, whatever. We need to go to the vendor regardless, and this is the fastest way. Harvest man. Uh, all right. Uh, we need to be very careful because we can't escape from the battle with the harvest man if we enter in battle with him. So this could potentially be the only enemy to end the run, even if we have the White Angel Soul. I don't know why, but your Isaac streams are more interesting for me now. Oh, really? Also, Jenna, this challenge. I appreciate that, because I'm loving the Binding of Isaac. You know, today, I kind of played a lot of it, as I told at the start of the stream. <laughs> yeah, we may say I fell in love with Isaac, okay? We may say I genuinely fell in love with Isaac at this point. <laughs> Like, I want to bring more Isaac streams. Maybe it could become a two uh, times per week time of uh, date. Like, uh, there is much more stuff. I'm much more excited for... Okay, I, I love Fear and Hunger. But uh, Isaac being a new game that I'm playing, uh, and considering uh, each time I play there is some new stuff to do and to find, uh, the excitement I have for that is much more in this moment. You know what I mean? All right, also... I think we looted mostly everything I could. So it is time to go back. Yeah. It is straight up time to go back and to finally unlock the blood portals and think about the strategies. Stay on the right of the arc, of course. Also, when we go back, when we go back, we can also pass near the uh, the old passage, the, the place where the old passage key is present. Saving case of soft lock. You are right, actually. Uh, I don't have the Book of Enlightenment. I need to, I need to get them later. <laughs> later. Later. Okay. Here we go. Here there are like four scrolls, uh, scroll shelves. Okay, let's start by opening these. There we go. So they can start coming out of it. And eventually they're gonna allow me to pass through. Empty scroll! Empty scroll! Empty scroll! There we go! And now again! Empty scroll! M. No. Um, sorry. <clears throat> Necromancy on the PP? Nah, 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 nah. I already saw it. Didn't laugh. I mean, the first time I did laugh, but uh, after, after this, uh, nah. 
you're not gonna die, suck. I like games that you see for the first time and you brush the uh, the off just as trash games, but then you discover it then again in your life and uh, then you fell in love with them. No, I don't. I don't agree about Isaac. Like, uh, Isaac doesn't seem trash at all. From the moment in which I started playing Isaac, I felt uh, the incredible potential of being, uh, like, uh, a freaking, uh, potentially, planner of uh, 1,000 different strategies. Uh, like, uh, I don't know. Isaac felt like, uh, you know, when you started playing Pokemon for the first time, when you see, wow, there are so many Pokemon, so many moves. In Isaac, there are so many items, uh, you know what I mean? Did you, do you mod it, Isaac? No, 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 no. Vanilla, vanilla. This is a blind run. The, the, the one I do on Isaac is a blind run. And uh, no, I have uh, a gentleman's agreement with myself. Never, ever use mods on the blind run. Never. Never. All right. Empty scroll. Empty scroll. Yes. There we go. We have seven empty scrolls. We, st we didn't find a lot of uh, the useful scrolls, but we have some empty scroll! No. Ah. But this is an empty scroll! Come on! Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> God damn it! <sighs> Alright. This feels promising. This feels definitely promising. I'm not gonna say anything else. Because if you think about it, uh, in the previous attempt we had more stuff, we had less empty scrolls, uh, but we got more of the uh, sp specific scrolls that we needed regardless. Uh, so nothing really changed. Uh, hello, buddy. Goodbye. Here we are. After all this time we are back, baby. We are back. Mm -hmm. If all Mary is like, uh, uh, you know, Jesus, uh, then Gamograph would be like uh, Satan. I mean... Uh, Considering that uh, Gamagov is also, uh, uh, like, uh, represented as the Cerberus at one point, uh, which is related, which is the gatekeeper to hell, and uh, considering that uh, the Necronomicon is kind of connected to, you know, Lovecraft stuff, etc., eh? I don't think uh, comparing him to Satan is uh, too wrong, uh, but I don't even think it's too right, like, uh, he's just uh, a Lovecraft, uh, an Eldritch Horror typical, a Lovecraftian Eldritch Horror, like, uh, not necessarily Satan, exactly. Alright. Let's get rid of this uh, stupid ballista idiot. Haha. Uh -huh. No! Okay, we have the White Angel. We have the White Angel. Mirror saw the crash, Gragoroff, and said, Okay, you deserve this, and you get three empty scrolls. <laughs> Imagine if that was real. <laughs> Do you read any comic book? I did read the manga some time ago. In the current moment, I don't anymore. Not because uh, I don't like them anymore, but just because uh, I am busy doing other stuff. I still watch anime. The last time I watched was uh, Attack on Titan, the finale. Fantastic, in my opinion. Not the best. Of, like, uh, it did give me a lot of emotions compared to the rest of the uh, seasons, but I still liked it. And the more the time passes, I'm, the more I like it. Now, wait, there is an elite guard here. Where is the elite guard? Elite guard... Oh, there you are, buddy. Actually, I have an idea. Hmm. I have an idea to get rid of this uh, elite guard forever. Are you ready? Come here. Okay. Perfect. Now we're entering here. Okay, his AI has been reset. Which means, uh, now he's gonna run into the wall. Basically. Good. Uh, mock a book. Mm, we didn't pray to all, maybe in uh, any parts of the dungeon. So I guess the first step is to go and pray to all, Mir. In here. How many coins? Uh, 36. We're fine. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Are you trying to obstacle me or something? Perfect. Back with sandwich. Welcome back. Mm -hmm. Hey. Are you just stopping? Okay. I don't care. I really suggested to watch Higurashi no Naku Koro Ni. I don't know if you know it. I don't know it, actually. You know, actually, from what I know, Super Hyper Trolf uh, is a person that watches a lot of, kind of this kind of stuff. We may have a, uh, a discussion of this type on, uh, on the collab stream, now that I think about it. That would be actually interesting. I'm mostly interested to know what uh, what, it, what are his tastes, uh, especially related to anime. Hmm. Where are you from? Oh, I'm from uh, Italy. I'm from Italy, buddy. 
Okay. So. The next step, uh, yeah, is to sacrifice this uh, idiot. Toma. Any new iceberg? What do you mean? What do you mean? Any, like, uh, if I make any new icebergs? Uh, no, in the current moment, uh, it's not a project I'm working on. I'm working on other stuff. Alright. Here we are. Let's pray to the Chad, the Giga Chad Olmir. After, uh, what is this? Uh, one hour of going around the dungeon. No, I think it's like more like uh, 30 minutes. So, yeah. After 30 minutes of, of going around the dungeon, we can finally place the blood portals. Dave, thank you for the five dollars, buddy. Hey, for Polo, wanted to say thanks for keeping me sane when I suffer through an Excel project for co project for college. Oh, Excel project. Wow, that sounds so weird, actually. But uh, I'm happy. I'm happy I was able to keep you company. Thank you for the support, Dave. What item is keeping him from going mad at zero mind? Oh, Meatbuster. If you go to zero mind, you don't die. That's... I don't know who who spread this myth. If you go to zero mind, you don't die. Like, uh, whatever. <laughs> it's Mythbusters. I actually wanted to do a video about Mythbusters. I currently gathered like five Mythbusters. If you have any ideas of, of, of possible Mythbusters, just let me know. Because it seems a differ uh, an interesting video, in my opinion. Like, uh, just dismantling uh, all the primary myths uh, created in the minds of, of players, you know what I mean? Alright. Now. Blood portal. There we go. Let me remind you again, saving case of softlock. You are right, let's go and take the Book of Enlightenment. You are right. <laughs> in case of softlock, it's time to save. I think you missed a blue herb in the courtyard. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> Who cares at this point? Uh, ah! Maybe the guard cares, I guess. <laughs> Maybe the guard cares. Number one myth. Propolo doesn't cheat through his rounds. Uh, that, that's that's not a myth! That's a true to me! <laughs> Why would I even cheat? Uh, like, uh, listen, Dapper Camper. This, st this stupid challenge run has been going on for five streams. Don't you think? Uh, if I cheat, uh, maybe this would have been over in the first stream. Uh. Oh no 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 it seems very interesting from how they sold it to me. Like, they, so they told me, oh, it's this uh, cyberpunk thing with this theme. So, yeah, you know, it seemed interesting. So, yeah, I want to watch Akira. Myth 2, the Percupper doesn't troll everyone he has a conversation with. <laughs> God damn it. Ah! Okay, we have the White Angel. <laughs> I was looking at the chat. <laughs> I was looking at the chat. <laughs> I'm sorry, Krogerot. But it's still not time. It's still not time for you. Goodbye, idiot. Do you like Naruto? No. I tried. Like, I did read Naruto up to the end of uh, Pain arc, okay? So, like, it's not like I, I hate him uh, uh, without, uh, like, uh, not uh, prepos- uh, I hate it preposterously. Because not only I did read up to Pain arc and then I played the rest with video games because my brother liked it. But, um, didn't really, isn't really my cup of tea. Like, uh, I feel like the majority of the stuff he it wants to teach you just falls apart overall. Like, uh, Naruto uh, is the one that is able to make it, to make his own way through the, the stuff by hard work, etc. Eh? And then he's like the son of an alien uh, predestined to freaking win against the destroyer of the worlds uh, and then fight endlessly against his rival. Like, uh, eh, eh, whatever. Uh, so... Blood portal, blood portal. Uh, did we place... Uh... Yeah, we did place the blood portal in the first level. Let's go down to the mines. Let's go down to the mines. Every single anime ending ever. That's not... That, that, that's completely forced up her cup. <laughs> Every single anime ending ever if you live under a rock and you only only watch the, the mainstream stuff. Like uh, In that case, it's your problem, upper cupper. That's definitely your problem. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. You live under a rock if you think that's every anime ever. <laughs> Alright, so, do we have a small key? Oh, we have a red vial, which I guess it's uh, the same. Do we have another red vial? Yeah, we, we have four red vials, that's good. 
But so first, if two people who live under rocks, uh, you know, I think if there are people that are watching the stream, they don't live under rocks because uh, that would mean they prefer to have a, a cell phone rather than a house. <laughs> Maybe they, maybe they don't prefer it, maybe they, are, they just have economical problems, but still. If you live under a rock, you're usually Patrick Starr from Spongebob. In that case, you deserve this, okay? Alright, uh, we did place the blood portal in there. Do we just uh, go to the Cave Dweller Village? Uh, nah, let's just go back to level 1 and then let's go to the level 7 basement. That's easier. Now, does she put in Faded the Reincarnation of a God? <laughs> No! We didn't take the level 1! Why did I think I think I did take the level 1? Ah. Oh. Whatever. The Hello? The oh, this is the Grogroth of the night. <laughs> this is the Grogroth of the night. We have to be careful about it. If you're not careful, he may bring you to the brothel. The no! No, 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 I didn't say anything. No, no, no. I didn't say anything. Gregor would never do that. And this is the Night Spectre Roth. Fantastic. My favorite character from this game. I know somebody, somebody within a similar opinion on Naruto. But have you watched uh, Joseph's Bizarre, Bizarre Adventures? I did watch the first three seasons. After that, uh, I just decided to stop. Because the first season wasn't really anything that I would say, wow. The second season was pretty good, in my opinion. Like, it's probably my favorite between these uh, three seasons. The third season was uh, filler, the season. There were like uh, six episodes of story. Those six episodes were good. But I need to consider the, 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 the whole thing. And I think uh, those that that big amount of fillers uh, is not great for me. So I didn't like uh, I didn't like it at all. So yeah, long story short, uh, I loved the second series. Uh, the other two, nah. Okay. Easy! What a juke! What a juke we just did! Wow! <laughs> Perfect! Perfect! Otherwise, if you have zero mind or if you don't have any torches in dark zones, nothing! Nothing! <laughs> like you get panphobia at zero mind, but that's it! Nothing! You just stay like here. Like here. Please watch uh, Forever and Beyond the Journey's End. I've never heard of that. No one even suggested it to me, actually. Okay, I'm gonna keep that in mind. Are there some places where you always win the coin flip in the dungeon? No, 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 no. Absolutely no. The, the, all the coin flips are made to be fair and square 50-50. Or, in some cases, uh, if you use lucky coins, etc., you have an advantage. There is never a situation in which the dungeon has an advantage. Paradoxically, you know what I mean? Do you not lose limb from the hurting? No, because you are fast enough to only take the bleeding. That's fantastic. Alright. Have you watched One Punch Man? One Punch Man, I want to watch it so badly, but the problem is uh, I, I have a friend that keeps spoiling me stuff. Uh, and I know technically for the type of show that the, that is, uh, you shouldn't really care about having stuff spoiled. Uh, but I do care. I do care. Okay. Now... There is another problem in this moment. Wanna wanna hear what is the other problem? What is why the elite guard is here? Oh whatever. There is another problem. Here, the bloody man is actually alive in this moment. And they still need to get the old passage key. Without getting stuck between multiple opponents. So this is gonna be kind of a juke fiesta extravaganza. Okay, here there is a bloody man. Let's lure him away. Let's lure the bloody man away. After that, because there is another bloody man near the entrance of the of that, uh, that uh, labyrinth. Okay. Quick, uh, quick, okay. We should have been fast enough. Let's take the, the, the old passage key right now. So later on we don't have to think about it anymore. Especially if we have more party members. There we go. Old passage key. Same in case of softlock man. Oh, you're right. Let's just, okay. Remember, we cannot reload the safe if we, if we die. It's just in case of softlock, okay? It is just in case of softlock. Uh, is there something else that I forgot to loot in here? Not really. All right. Now. Hmm? Come on, hurry up. Yes, sir. We were able to escape before the bloody man actually caught us. The first part of the plan is over. Second part. There are other bloody men in here. I'm 
very scared that they're gonna get me stuck. No! No, 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 no! No! Okay, no, wait. It's not over yet. We can, we can juke them in the, in the little room. We can juke them in the little room on, on my right. We can juke them. Okay. We need to be very fast. Very fast. Okay? Okay. You stay here. Now, I go two tiles on the left. Then I go down and we should be able... No, 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 no. It's over, it's over, it's over. We can, we can escape, we can escape. We can escape. We can escape. There is a bird trap in the middle. So, kind of slower. Okay. Those two bloody men have been grouped in that place. Now, this is all to prevent the crow molar from despawning, by the way. All to prevent the crow molar from despawning. Now, with those two bloody men in there, we can approach this. Red Vial, you, come with me. Because you are another one of the softlock idiots. <laughs> Look what the hell we need to do in order to go back to that stupid place. Uh, dry meat, dry meat. Mm hmm. We need to not get soft lock between two bloody men. Okay, we should have enough time with the bloody men stuck in there. Where is the other bloody man? It's inside of there. Perfect. Perfect. We did it. Ah! Ah! God damn it. <laughs> so freaking difficult. I like the music here. Yeah, I love this jingle. It sets up a lot of mood, honestly. Good. This was the best, uh, the, the, the funniest juke I've ever seen in a while in this game. The funniest one. Now, getting flashbacks to run 2. No worries, no worries. We don't talk about run 2. We are fine like this. And talking about being fine, we will never have to go through there again. Because... Now we can unlock the blood portals. Have you watched the Code Geass and Akamega Kill? Yes, I watched both, actually. Code Geass was pretty good, honestly. Akamega Kill, I liked it even though it's kinda mid. Like, in my opinion, it's kinda mid. Ah, can I send a DM on Discord? Uh, you can DM me on Discord. I, I will try to uh, read it as, fast, uh, as soon as possible. Even though, in the current moment, it's very difficult because I have a lot of DMs. So, if I don't answer you, that's the reason. I'm sorry in advance. You will never have to go through them again because you are going to give up once you fail again. Tupper cap. Oh, um. Tupper capper. You know, when they say karma is, is good. Uh, you know, I think it is finally time to test one of my powers in the chat. It is time to time you out for one minute. Tupper Capper has been timed out. Evil for Polo Arc begins. All right. Now, let's trigger the blood portal. There we go. It's only one minute, of course, and it's just for a joke. I'm, I'm not... Uh, <laughs> it's just for a joke, of course. No worries. No, it's not the first timeout, actually. The first timeout was Wally in Alisa the Painful stream because they kept spamming something, I think, or they spoiled something. I don't remember. It was one of the two. What happened? The percapper was not believing in me. And so I decided to time him out for one minute. It's just a joke, of course. Like, <laughs> it's just a joke. I hope you take it in the correct way. Otherwise, uh, if you feel offended or something, I'm sorry. It was just a joke. It's just one minute, after all. What is also banned from the server? Yes, it is, because uh, he posted some uh, stuff that was uh, against my rules, so... Ban. Have you watched the High School DxD? Yeah! I did. <laughs> I did. I actually quite like it, honestly. Now, it's finally time to start crafting the torches. We really finished our torches. And I guess we also finished the amount of lootable stuff in the dungeon. But I guess there is not much else to do. Let's just trigger the blood portal here in the grand library. And then it's Jover. Alright. The last, uh, the, the penultimate actually, the penultimate blood portal is here. Okay. Now. It is time to decide what to do. Okay, first of all, first of all. 
Let's get to the stuff we are gonna get regardless out of the way. Give... Leather... Armor. This one was gonna be taken regardless. Then, plate helmet. We have the Eagle Crest shield. Uh, let me check one thing in the game files, actually. What is the protection from the plate helmet? Because I kinda forgot. 10% protection, while the Gaunt Bessinet protects 15%. Do we really use an empty scroll for a 5% more protection against physical damage? Yes! No! <laughs> okay, nothing happened. Nothing happened. Nothing happened, okay. My okay, sorry, I got a headache in this moment. Now, second part. <laughs> Damn it. Oh lord. <laughs> Keep. Go to Bessinet. There we go. How many times have you actually accidentally quit the game like that? Uh, you know, in my blind run Kahara S ending, I did actually <laughs> accidentally do that. Okay. Then, I guess we also get the defense stance, because we saw it's just too good. Let me double check, it should be defense stance. I am pretty sure, let me check, I should have the uh, table right here. Uh, where is it? Team stuff, there we go. Tables, uh, boom. It is defense stance. There we go. Uh -huh. Oh lord. Mm -hmm. Defense stance. Boom. Then, what else are we missing to have the exact same setup as before? We have defense stance and fast attack. And loving whispers to heal. We need something else. Or that's. Uh, I mean, leg sweep maybe, but uh, we have the alchemillas. Therefore, we, if we use uh, we have five oil, so we can craft five murky vials. Let's go on the first level, actually. Yeah. Necromancy, but uh, I want to try first the solo strategy. If we're able to consistently kill them using the solo strategy, I feel much more hopeful. Maybe we need to use a purifying talisman for each of them. Isn't it better to go with the uh, White Angel plus Fast Tense to have uh, three turns? Uh, three turns? No, 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 Evlads. You only have maximum two turns. They don't stack. Like, uh, if you have both, uh, you just uh, are able to trigger this against enemies with higher speed. But the only enemy with higher speed on which you care about triggering this uh, is the God of Fear and Hunger, which is not required for this run. So yeah, you just don't really care. Okay. I want to do something. Up here there is a chest with a 50% chance for a soul stone. So, so, all stone. So, all stone. Yes, uh, there we go. Soulstone. Ah. Which means 20 silver coins that we don't need to use for the um, stupid idiot uh, moron, how's it called? Uh, vendor. How many silver coins do we have, by the way? Silver coins? Yoohoo! 36. 36. Hmm. You know, I'm kind of thinking about killing Isaiah. If we kill Isaiah, we get 70 more silver coins, which means 7 purifying talismans. 1 Garogaroth for fighting 7 more Garogaroths. Like, it seems uh, good fighting 1 more Garogaroth in order to have enough talismans for do, to do 7 more Garogaroths, you know what I mean? Alright. We did all of these to go back here and trigger the last blood portal. Oh, there is... Uh, <laughs> I guess the guards are just gonna stay there, stuck forever. What did you say earlier about the theater group uh, you're in? Oh, but yesterday I went to Disco for the first time with some of my theater members, and it was fantastic. What's your favorite Italian food? I would say carbonara or pizza. Save again. Wait, nah. Oh, you know, actually. It's just for the softlocks. It's not in case I lose. If I lose, I need to restart, okay? 
If I lose, I need to restart. Uh, I'm just remi reminding you. Okay. Let me drink a little bit. It's been a quite a while before I drink. I did drink. <sighs> so. Are we missing something from our previous setup? I guess the blue scene we can have the, uh, the blue scene equipped. Yeah. Hmm. Ever watching the talisman, we have it. So, um. If RNG gods smile upon us, we can actually win with this setup. If they don't smile upon us, it's a jover. But I, I feel it's kind of a waste to not use these five empty scrolls. Okay, listen. Listen. Uh, let's do something, first of all. I think I can use a soul stone to get blood golem. Now. Instead of using an empty scroll for blood golem. In the worst case scenario, I can just use an empty scroll to get a soul stone. Yeah. In the worst case scenario. Okay. Blood golem is ours. After this, we have another lesser soul. Hmm. Pyromancy trick, maybe. Okay. With this, uh, we still don't have necromancy, and we maybe can use necromancy. We can get a necromancy with an empty scroll. But. It is time to try. I think, yeah, the first Grogoth is gonna be Isaiah, legitimately. It's legitimately gonna be Isaiah, in my opinion. No, we will not use pheromones, because we're gonna use the defense stance with Everwatching Talisman. Alright! If we are lucky, this is gonna be the first victory of the day, and hopefully not the last one. We, ha we can craft two purple vials, but I think there is still a door we need to deal with. Oh, we have 101 green vial. Yeah. Yeah. No skellies. Not for now. Not for now. Boom. Okay. Everything is ready. Eagle Crest Shield, Gold Bassinet, Hard Leather Armor. The plan is simple. Start the fight. Defense stance. Then fast attack. Then find a, tur find a moment in which we can use the Purifying Talisman to heal us. And after that, Pyromancy Trick to apply a dot. Now, let's fully heal the mind. Boo, 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 boo. And uh, let's save our game to prevent the possible soft blocks during the battle. That's it. That's it. It's time to start with the Grogrofts. Do we have a Purifying Talisman? There it is. Six. Okay, six. <laughs> Who's kinda scared? Alright. The Grogoroth Challenge starts now! Wait! Wait! Did we keep the Overwatching Talisman? No, we didn't. We didn't. And no, we can't escape. From Isaiah, you can't escape. Uh. <laughs> All right. Um. So. So, we can still win. We can still win. <laughs> I guess we can go to sleep, guys. Think about it in this way. We can go to sleep if we die. Burning case. Okay. Nine. Yes, sir. Okay. What do you mean defense stance? No, 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 no. The the weak the phobia status gives you like uh, minus ninety five percent evasion. 
So even if I use the fastest, I'm still negative. Okay, we lost the arm with the shield, which is very bad. But maybe we can continue. Okay, now we guard. Now we guard, hoping that uh, he attacks the blood, the blood golem, uh, breathing. Uh, 27. 27. I don't feel like I can heal myself. Uh, mm, no, I mean, I feel like I, I need to heal myself, actually. Yeah, probably whispers. I forgot about the <laughs> ever watching Talisman in the worst battle possible. Okay, can you attack the Blood Golem, pretty please? Can you attack the. I, I created the Blood Golem just for you to have a beat back. Can you attack the Blood Golem? <laughs> <gasps> yeah! <laughs> we got the bug! We got the bug! <laughs> Oh no! I need to reset! No! No! <laughs> uh, so, uh, our flawless attempt starts now! <laughs> no, we need to reset! How unfortunate! How unfortunate it is! <laughs> okay, perfect! The bug saved me exactly. Okay, now we start with the fence stance. Let's go! Two eyes. Two eyes is a problem. Hoping that we that we dodge at least one claw. There it is. Two potentially. Yes! Two closes in. Completely. Eight and nine. I think I, I am burning. Do I have a water vial? I do have water vial prepared. I think it's better if I remove the burn. The burn does 10 de- No, 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 no. F f first of all, purifying talisman. Or maybe I purple vial immediately. No, no, no. Now that we- We will not kill him in less than uh, the turn for dying from the, the curse. Oh, I forgot to use fast attack! Oh, oh. <laughs> I forgot to use fast attack. I'm making so many mistakes, okay. Uh... Loving Whispers. I forgot to use fast attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgo, I forgo. But we are still mostly fine. We're back to full HP. Mm. Okay, the battle starts now. We have 57 HP. Two, eva two turns of evasion, but we don't have perfect guard anymore. And the battle starts now. This is the turn. Eh... Uh, I kind of made a mistake in there, for, for the fact that I didn't use fast stance. That may have been the end of my run, technically. Okay, let's think about this. If I don't use defense stance, I am gonna lose my arm. If I do use defense stance, and a claw attacks me, and burning gaze get triggered, I think we die. I think we use defense stance, hoping to survive. Then in the next turn we heal, and in the turn after that... We can, we can maybe try to use fast stance. That's the plan, okay? Defense stance to reapply perfect guard. Come on! We think, okay, no burning gaze. Yes! Yes! Okay. We survived both the mountains. There we go. Now. Light blue, blue vial ready for the occasion. Please. Okay. Okay, please. Miss Clover God. No. Okay. 37. If a two. Clover God connect, we lose. No, I think we heal again in this moment, but I will need to reapply defense stance once again after this. Mm. 
You're saying to heal again? No! Um, no! No! It's not safest! It's not safest! It's not safest! If I heal, I lose perfect guard next turn. So I need to use defense stance. And eventually I will take too much damage for me to sustain it. Heal. We did it. Okay. Now we can chill. Now we can chill. So, perfect guard went away from us. We need to reapply perfect guard and heal ourselves. Dave, I thank you for the five dollars. The only constantly shifting between it. it's over and we are so back. <laughs> thank you for the super buddy. Okay. Now. Now. We reapply perfect guard. No, we actually we don't reapply perfect guard because we are just gonna guard in the normal turn to take even less damage. We use a light blue vigil to keep a 34 mind for later. Mm-hmm. Boom. Now guard. There is a chance we evade the attacks. There is a chance they just uh, uh, deal less damage. Okay, 15. 14, okay. <laughs> they both attacked. <laughs> they both attacked. Uh huh. Now, reapply defense stance in the extra turn. Good. Now, perfect guard is back. At this point, heal, and then if everything goes according to plan, in the next extra turn. In the next extra turn, we're gonna we're gonna cast the purple vial. If everything goes according to plan, and we don't take too much damage. Okay, miss. No, miss. Okay, yes. It is time to apply the the purple vial, I guess. If we keep going like this, we're gonna go nowhere. Uh, perfect guard is still there. Two turns for perfect guard. Uh. Oh, we don't have a purple vial, but we do have the throwing dart. Okay, go! Perfect. Guard. Uh, we still have perfect guard, to be fair. I could heal in this turn. No, we played safe. We played safe. We guard so to reduce the damage even more in case he attacks us. Or... I want to No, 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 no. I could also summon the Blood Golem at one point, just to have another meat shield on the battlefield. Uh, this is so tense, and this is just the first Grogrof, which is not even a required Grogrof, it's just to get some resources. That burning is really screwing me up. Mm. You know what, let's just guard. Everything? Miss, yes. Miss, yes. Okay. Now, loving whispers. Loving whispers. Is perfect guard still on in this moment, or do I need to guard in this turn? Perfect guard is still on. I could summon the blood golem right now. Yeah, blood golem time. That's a lot of damage. God damn it. That's a lot of damage. Okay. At least the Blood Golem is uh, taking the damage from the Clover God. Basically, sitting in one turn. We can take the damage from the Bolt and uh, we don't care. Okay. This seems uh, sustainable, though. Like, as long as we have Purifying Talismans. This seems uh, sustainable. We need to reapply defense stance, or even better, we still have the evasion, we may just guard in the normal turns. First of all, water vial to extinguish the flames, so I will take less damage overall. And now we guard... In the extra turn, I will probably heal. Yeah, in the extra turn, I will probably heal. Uh-huh. 
Three finger, what have I got? Miss, what have I got? Ash. Healing time. Definitely healing time. Miss of Red and Blue is not ideal because we have the... Uh, Miss of Red and Blue heals less if you have fire protection. On this last turn we got... Okay, the fight should be over. Because uh, the, the, the poison should be really close to killing. We can just uh, chill. I can legitimately chill. We got the bug. Ahem. <coughs> Can we kill one? One single Grogroth? God damn it! Can we kill one single Grog? Actually, actually, you know what? You know what? No, no, you know what? Since the game gave me the bug, you know what? Screw you! Screw you and your stupid eyes and that stupid idiot I, I don't care anymore. We just kill them all and I don't care, okay? Since the, since the game is gonna screw with me, I am gonna screw with the game as well. Did we keep the ever watching talisman? We did. Okay. I'm gonna destroy you now. Like, I, I don't care anymore. There, there is no way we get to the, the stupid bug every time. This challenge was supposed to be bug less. Instead, it's being a grogger of less. Every single grogger has, has a problem. Okay. Now. <laughs> Can we? Okay, wait, wait. Let me maybe position the stream screen on that part, and this okay. Okay, okay. So, first turn, defense stance, boom. Please dodge. Yes, yes. Now we don't make the same mistake anymore. Fast attack. Hmm. Burning gaze. Huh? Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. Miss. Extra turn. We still have three turns to deal with that bullshit. Three turns. Hmm. Three turns. We may summon the Blood Golem now. No, 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 no. Let's take the safe, pa the safe path. Loving Whispers. Are you Italian or Scandinavian? I am Italian, buddy. I'm Italian. Here we don't need to guard, so we can do something else. For example, it is finally time to destroy all those stupid eyes except for the middle one. Or maybe, no, 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 actually. Purifying Talisman. Maybe it's better to do it now. Rather than later when we don't know what could happen. Okay, breathing. Miss! Yes! Miss! Yes! Okay, the eyes changed right now. The eyes changed. At this point, I need to reapply defense stance. No, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I need to reapply defense stance because perfect guard went away. Or, since I still have the evasion, we could just guard in that turn. And instead, right now, we do something else. Such as murky vial those idiots. Boom. Two eyes were destroyed. Unfortunately, one is still alive. Okay, we guard because otherwise our arms are gonna get destroyed if a cloak not lands. Yes. Yes! Ho oh ho! Ragnavalder! What is happening to you? When did you become a good character? <laughs> when did you become a good character? Okay. Let's use another murky vial. I could also get the legs whip from an empty scroll very soon, actually. Hmm. No, the eyes are not a problem for a, for a good amount of time. I think I could summon the Blood Golem. No, 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 no. Let's reapply defense stance right now. Boom. In this moment, uh, I could guard to reduce the damage I take, but I want to put the poison. If he lands two, Nova God. Maybe I die? No, okay, perfect. PERFECT! Okay. At this point, to be sure there is not again the bug, let's use a murky vial to kill the remaining eyes, okay? Okay, the only eye that is currently alive is this one. 
But I do not want to kill it. I want to guard this turn. Yeah, guard. Burning gate. Mm -hmm. Nova God. Miss. Nova God. We got the bug again. <laughs> this challenge cannot be completed! <laughs> you know what, guys? You know what, guys? I have a better idea. Listen to my idea, okay? Now, it's very late. Even if we continue... If we really want to arrive to the end, considering there is this amount of bugs... We are gonna stay here for a while, okay? Listen to my idea. We suspend the run here, and next time, we start from here. Which is gonna be the first time we start uh, from the start of the fight with Grogrof. What do you think? I'm not gonna touch anything, of course, on the run. What do you think? We stay in here, the run is saved, we suspend it... I think that's a good uh, compromise, also because... Uh, it's almost midnight. Like, uh, if we continue, we, we were fighting this Gorgor for like 15 minutes. If we have this at all the bosses, then what happens is we literally are gonna stay here for at least uh, two or three hours. Which means uh, that, you know, I will go to sleep at 3 a.m. Okay. So, I think we're gonna do this. Remember. Remember, we're gonna stay like this, exactly like this. I will not touch anything else. How will you know that you are not cheating in between uh, streams? Uh, I mean, uh, eh? How will I know that I will not uh, cheating in between streams? I mean, if I really wanted to cheat, uh, I would have already done it, and I would have already finished the challenge, don't you think? <laughs> it's the fifth or the, or the fourth stream we do of this challenge. If I really wanted to cheat, I would have done it before, you know. All right, so listen to the plan. For today, that's it. The run is saved regardless. We will see each other uh, on Monday, I think, with Isaac. But remember, on Thursday, there is gonna be the collaboration with Super Eye Patch Wolf. I'm gonna, I'm gonna send the announcement tomorrow. I hope you had fun in this stream, honestly. We stayed at 700 viewers for the majority of the stream. So, you are washed. What does washed mean, exactly? He would have cheated, he would have cheated in, bug in bug fixes. Yeah, but uh, uh, also, here in the title it says bug fix mod. But this does not have my bug fix. This is literally just the sensor mode. Literally. So. Thank you so much for coming, guys. Thank you for all the support. This is the one stream in which I can actually see the possibility to effectively win. You know. We finally found a strategy that seems consistent enough. It's kind of difficult to start, but I think maybe if we gather, I don't know, one or two goals around the dungeon. Maybe not too many, because... Uh, we still want to to be sure that, uh, you know, we have enough for the, for all the bosses. Can't you fix the eye bug? No, I want my challenges to be doable on uh, all uh, vanilla copies of Fear and Hunger without uh, excessive uh, touch to them. Like, the, the Book of Elidament thing is just to suspend the run or for, ba or for this particular bug in here. But, uh, like, it's much easier to mod in Book of Enlightenment. Like, even a kid can do it. But uh, fixing uh, Grogroth... Eh. You know what I mean? So, for today, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for coming. We will see each other on, uh, on Monday with Isaac. Even though I got uh, here late, it was a good stream. Oh, thanks. Remember, if you like the stream, be sure to leave a like and subscribe because that's gonna help me a lot. We are almost at 70k subs, which is one step closer to 100k, which is the first very, I mean, not the first, but uh, one of the most important milestones uh, in any content creator life, uh, except for the 1 million, of course. But still, for today, that's it, guys. Have a good night, and I will see you next time.